On the glistening shores of a far-off land, lurking deep within the crumbling carapace of a long-dead sea god live a people who know that only liars glitter and that the bold are the first to die. Beneath the city, within it, where fear or madness or a shallow grave are just a roll of the dice away, welcome to Daybreak City. Welcome to the crease. Beyond the reach of sunlight, here in our unmappable labyrinth, I was born. Here in its twisting tunnels, its nacreous ravines, beneath the flickering neon lights and amongst the echoing depths, we changed. Or it changed us. So they call us Creaseborn. Oh, hey, welcome back. It's been a little while. Hey, everybody, welcome in to uh, our third episode of Daybreak City Nights. So excited to have all you guys here. Uh, if you are new, welcome on in. Uh, this is Adventure Taverns Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition show, Daybreak City Nights. Um, I would love to introduce the cast to you. Let me just catch you up on what's been going on here. Last year... Um, my good friends, Dragners and Stacy the Linguist played Dungeons and Dragons with me and they really wanted to do like a follow-up mission about a heist and I kind of got carried away and now we have a show. <laughs> um, <Yep>. So that's <laughs> this. Uh, here in Daybreak City, which is our setting of the show, it is a teeming metropolis built into the gargantuan husk of a long dead god. Um, we have a really awesome cast uh, joining us here today. Um, and if we could just go around and let people know who we are, that would be great. Um, Astacon, could you kick us off? Of course. Hello there, everybody. I'm Astacon. I'll be playing Aelin Roshield for you today. Our nerdy, good-natured, uh, foot-in-mouth elf. <laughs> Um, you can find me on twitch.tv forward slash Astacon, where I fly spaceships, yell loudly at dragons, assassinate people and build settlements, build cities, and I also do art and music as well. Uh, you can also find me uh, tomorrow, where I games master our other show, Empire. Um, it's going to be our 21st episode, where things are going to start getting super interesting for oh the Inquisitional Cell. Depending, of course, what they do. <laughs> I've got a plan for their shenanigans. <laughs> I'm super, super hyped to be here today. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to excited to get back back into uh, being Aelin again. We're excited to have you. How about uh, Dragoners? Yeah, so I'm Dragoners. I also go by Kyle. And today I'm going to play Rory, otherwise known as Edge. Uh, I'm just a... <laughs> I'm just a teen who just graduated high school, um, mostly a fighter, but I've got a bit of magic under my belt for some reason. It's kind of mysterious. And uh, if you were here last time, you would have seen that like I did like a misty step move, like teleported behind somebody kind of thing. Um, and that might have been things might be changing for Rory a little bit. Uh, you can find me on twitch.tv slash Dragners or Twitter slash Dragners. Um, and I stream mostly just like puzzle games and Zelda and a lot of science uh, and You're psychology a Zelda streamer. And stuff. I am, <laughs> I'm a, yeah, I've become a Zelda streamer. <laughs> I, I, yeah, there's no thing, no way around Nothing that. wrong with that. Yeah, who could blame you? Zelda's an amazing game. Right? So, I mean, right? I right. mean, there's not anything in my background. <laughs> yeah, well, speaking yeah, no. of you, Taco Trash Can. Hi, I'm Taco Trash Can. Um, you can find me on twitch.tv slash Taco trash can. Um, don't know why that was hard. Um, I currently recovering from a concussion, so this is a rare sighting of me, but I will be back soon ish. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, I'll let you all know when I'll be back to streaming. But right now, I'm uh, just uh, just chilling, working on these peepers. These peepers, jeepers, creepers. And I'll be playing Tanya today. She is a. Um, a teenage witch and um she's rather fiery 
Indeed. Thank you. Uh, and so, uh, Dragners and Aelin, Aelin and Astakhan, uh, whatever, you're interchangeable with your characters at this point, <laughs> and, and Taco Trashcan, Tanya Trashcan, uh, <laughs> have been uh, with us before on a, on Adventure Tavern and in this show, but Dinsdale and Zara are brand new. Dinsdale, could you tell us a little bit about your stream? Certainly. I'm, uh, and Dinsdale. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can find me, of course, as with most people, on Twitch with my username somewhere there. Yeah. Uh, I stream mostly all kinds of different games, <laughs> including Zelda on occasion, but only on occasion. Uh, sorry. Sorry, Taco Trash Can. Um, <laughs> uh, we play a lot of story games, but also a lot of just random games and also a lot of Hollow Knight. Um, I will be playing the part of Araxi, who is uh, a janitor and uh, likes to tinker with things, you know, in, in her spare time. Um, and overall, just keeps to herself as much as possible because people are just all too weird. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed. Excited Thanks, Dean Sale. Uh, Zara. Hi. Uh, yeah, my name is Zara Zodiac. You can find me pretty much anywhere under the name Zara Zodiac with an H behind the Zara. It's probably somewhere here. Um, and today I'm playing Mirish Moramira, a half-orc acrobat with a very fancy updo. And um, yeah, it's. I'm also a teenager, but I dropped out of high school. So that's all I'll say for now. Appreciate that. Thank you. I also, I don't know if it's fully visible on everybody's screen, depending oh, yeah. on your resolution, but like the outfit and the tusks. The outfit is there. The tusks. Amazing. Everybody <laughs> with the with the commitment to the cosplay, except me, I'm wearing a t-shirt and, and a coat. Uh, <laughs> hell yeah. So. You're um, cosplaying as a DM. That's right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm wearing a jacket so that you know I have authority. I'm uh, <laughs> local underscore snack underscore preferences on Twitch. Uh, it's a very long name. People just call me LSP. Uh, I'm a art streamer primarily, but I'll play the occasional Elite Dangerous and Hades. Uh, and occasionally on my channel, there are Pokemon cards involved. It's a whole thing. Uh, if you're into that stop by i will be playing everybody that everybody else isn't playing and um i think with that we should dive into the game are you guys stoked are you ready let's do this let's do it so we are gonna start today in the exact same place we began this whole thing in a rundown high school in a rundown neighborhood called South Aberdeen. It's now the middle and even towards the end of the school summer break in the hot, hot months here in daybreak on the coast. Um, so I don't know if you ever went into your like secondary school or, or equivalent of that. In, in between when classes are off, but there's that eerie feeling of everything being deserted and empty. And, uh, you know, the laminate halls, floors are echoing everything. And there's like the occasional office staff and the odd teacher coming in for a meeting from time to time. Araxi, could you describe what you look like and what you're doing as you wake up and get ready for another day of work? Hmm. Certainly. Aroxy gets up early, as as is her habit, and rolls out off off her her cot in the little in the back of the closet where all her supplies are. Packs it away. Gathers up, uh, you know, mop, bucket. You know, you got the the, the bucket on wheels that you've got. Uh, goes off to to. Do her best to clear off the dust that just gets everywhere here in this corner of the city. Mm. Uh, quickly changes, gets uh, splashes some water on her face. Very refreshing. Um, she's got she's got these. Uh, I mean, she she. Uh, how much description do you want of her? 
Um, what do you think the first few things an observer would notice would be when they look at her? Sure, sure, sure. sure. Uh, first thing people would notice is probably that she's got this like this two-tone skin going, this lighter purple face, but then like from here back is this darker, darker mauve. Uh, and closely on the heels of that is that she's got these what look like gills on her, mm. on her neck. Um, they don't like move at all, but they're there. Um, and her nose is a little like flat, almost like snake-like, or more more slits than uh, than anything else. Um, that would be the fir the first few things that people see as soon as they uh, as soon as they they spot her. Yeah, um, quickly puts think... on a nice uh, crisp white shirt, rolls up the sleeves, and uh, gets ready for the day. Yeah. So as you're, um, you know, moving about the school with your uh, responsibilities, you know, just taking care of your kind of repetitive daily tasks, um, Janice, this uh, like administrative assistant, who is one of the few people who is also there every day in the summer, no matter what, um, and pretty much runs like the office side, kind of flags you down, and she she's this um, halfling woman. And she, and she sort of like chases you down the hall and is like, uh, Roxy, dear, uh, can I can I borrow you for just a minute? We got this letter uh, in the office and it came to the school and I think it's I think it's for you, but I can't exactly read all the all the words on it. And and I thought maybe uh, could you just check and see? I, oh, yeah, I think yeah, it's the uh, letter sure, for sure, you, Janice. Of course, of course. Uh, do, do you need me to like bring my my stuff or? Oh, uh, what? stuff and she kind of gestures at the the mop no oh i don't think so oh. um i think right. it should be yeah it's probably and just a letter for you i don't reluctantly and... leans the mop against the wall and turns and, and follows janice uh-huh janice you know um just taking like two or three steps for every step you take uh scampers ahead of you um to the kind of rundown um school office it's got that like glass with like the reinforced like x wires on the window of the door and stuff um and uh she hands you this letter and i'm gonna just um paste it into our cast chat and ask you maybe to read it for everyone but it's written in um your uh, first language which is the creole that people speak in the crease um and it looks like it is from your uncle who lives up in clingsley dearest Aroxy, i pray this finds you well and finds you well i wasn't sure exactly how to address it i've never written a letter to a school before i figure i'll see you around before too long and normally i just wait until our paths cross but the thing is i could use your help it's your cousin Lexi. I haven't seen her in almost a week. Lexi. Normally I just guess she was staying with a friend and forgot to let me know, but she's been acting weird, talking about hearing a sound, talking about peace and love and getting this weird look on her face. It's probably nothing, but I thought I'd ask you to keep an eye out, hoping to see you soon, Sarah. Yes, I saw a job posting at a tavern down the street. Might pay more, and it's past time you stop hanging around schools. <sighs> um, yeah, this is this is for me. Uh, thank, thank you, Janice. Uh, it's it's um, from my uncle. I uh, didn't think he knew that I was uh, working here. <clears throat> oh, um, is there anything you do you need from me? Um. No. Well, I'm. I, I don't know if it will be okay if uh, I if I uh, ended work a little bit early today. He he wants me to check on on my cousin. Um, is, would that be all right? Yeah. Oh, oh absolutely, Aroxy. You do so much here. You deserve to take some time off. Just whatever you need and and I'll, it's fine this school's not getting much nicer i i appreciate all the work you do but you know it kind of is what it is around here i i appreciate it janice thank you and we move 
uh, we zoom out of the school and we see it's, you know, little campus and um, follow a street, you know, winding city street about a half mile north, uh, you know, just maybe a countable number of blocks away from the sparkling sea in the southeast and towards the massive sculpted pillars of bone and shell that stretch towards the city's roof. It's uh, a neighborhood just called Central Apodim, and here along this road, there's a small bakery. It's the home and business place. Oh, you guessed it. It's the home and business place <laughs> of uh, Tanya Baker and her family. And as of a few months ago, it's also the home of Rory and Nieven Windblade. Uh, Tanya, could you tell us a little bit about what brought that change about? Yeah, so, um, you know, Tanya had been saving up her allowance is the official story. The unofficial story is she got a lot of money from a heist, she helpful. And, um, and you know, Rory and uh, her best friend, Nevian, didn't really have much of a place to stay. And that was a big worry for Rory. So uh, Tanya was like, I can fix this. And also I love to bake, so. Absolutely. And you've been doing um, some, some work too. Like you've got this space because you are buying an expansion onto the bakery, right? Yep. Um, yeah, so my folks place is some like, it's just, you know, kind of staples and stuff like that for the, um, for this, uh, part of town we're in. Mm -hmm. My place is more of a, um, more of a like, treat yourself, get yourself a nice treat, get yourself a coffee, sit down, have a cinnamon roll, like, yeah. feel good about yourself. We're poor, but we ain't, we ain't worthless. Absolutely. Worthless. Yeah, and and it's you know reasonably priced, but you now you've got this expanded menu, and it's been doing pretty well. Like people have enjoyed. It's still under construction a little bit, but like you've opened it up, even though there's some things going on. And um, who just you know because I'd love for you to indulge me. Who is doing the renovations for you? Like who have you hired? Um. Um. I've, I've, I've hired a dragon board and his, uh, son, his, um, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. his, 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 his son, who's like about your age and is like, you know, tall and yeah, it's, part dragon. Yeah. You know, he's got a uh, pretty gold scales and, mm -hmm. um, you know, but, but Tanya just bakes. That's all yeah. I do. That's all I do. It just, you know. How, Rory, how has it been, like, living and I, I assume, like, spending some time helping out here, like, suddenly next door to this family? Yeah, yeah, it's been, it's been a change. So, like, up until this point, um, when I was going through high school, uh, my sister's in my high school, um, but mm -hmm. as I was going through high school, we are basically living alone. Um, we didn't have any parents. Um, I was kind of the one supporting. I was working out in the docks, but also getting some maybe some support from the school but after graduating you know didn't really have much of that mm -hmm. and things were getting harder and harder i wasn't pleased with the idea of living with uh tanya uh, like we we weren't really friends we didn't know each other that well they were like she was my little sister's friend you know yeah um and and especially after we did a job together which wasn't i didn't intend to do a job like a, like a heist job with my sister's best friend, uh, who we neither of us want her to find out about, by the way. Uh, right. We haven't told her sister this, True. that we did this thing. Um, yeah, I, I, I mean, we came we came a little closer, but still, it's it's been, it's been an adjustment. Uh, yeah. But I, I, we're grateful. Um, I'm doing my best to, like, you know, help out here and there. I work in the back. People don't really see me, but, like, I, I clean and I, I do some like prep work that kind of stuff i'm not i'm not actually that good of a baker so i don't think tanya is really letting me near the ovens um because <laughs> I've, I've definitely burnt many things <laughs> the things at times i've tried but you know i'm trying to i'm trying my best 
there's some kind of knack to it, and you have whatever the opposite of a knack for exactly. baking is. Yeah. Do you sleep? I'm imagining maybe like it's a one bedroom space still, and like, do you sleep on the couch and let Nieven have oh, the bedroom? Oh, 100%. 100% I sleep on the couch. Um, like, Nieven, like, I love my sister also, but she would never, like, like she, there's a bed for her to sleep in. She's going to sleep in the bed. I'm not going to get that. <laughs> sure. <laughs> She's going to look at you like. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to be like, ah. Yeah, so uh, this morning she kind of stumbles out of her room and Yevon is your adopted sister so you're a human she's uh, is she a, a wood elf or a half elf I can't uh, she's a half elf right that, okay she's half elven um, she's got like just a kind of a baby face like mm. you know real like um, these strikingly um, light blue eyes and she's recently she's blonde but she's recently been putting these like kind of like purple and gray streaks in her hair but this morning it's just like you know she just got up so it's like this like yeah. messy like just tangle in her face and she's wearing like a real big t-shirt and pajamas and she walks out and she's like hey Rory hey. morning are morning. you already up yeah um kind of slipped in a little late didn't you no Maybe. I wasn't really sleeping. Do you hear that? Um, no. I mean, I hear fans from the ovens downstairs, but, uh... No, like, the really, it's like really quiet, like, like a bell, a bell thing. It just keeps ringing and ringing. No. Are, you, I... are you still asleep? I think you're still asleep. You know what? Here, why don't we make you some coffee? I'll uh, wake you up. Yeah, do you think they're already making stuff downstairs? Yeah, yeah, Tan has been Tan has been at it for a while now. Um, okay, I'll be down in a bit, and I should brush my hair and okay. or teeth. Okay, okay. Could you have them make me a coffee? Sure. Uh, the usual. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Roar. No worries. <laughs> and uh. <laughs> Whenever you do come downstairs in the main kitchen, um, Tanya and her dad, Harry, are already there. Uh, and it kind of looks like they're in the middle of a conversation. Um, the way this is set up is that, like, both of the upstairs, like, living spaces have, like, an outside staircase that goes down into the back of the, um, the bakery space. And uh, they're in there, and, you know, it's hot. It's a bakery in the summertime. Um, and um, Harry's, you know, got white hair, um, real friendly. Um, and he's like, oh, hey, Rory. Uh, good morning. How you doing? Hey. Uh, pretty good. Uh, do you got any coffee brewing? Oh, yep. I think we got some on. We got that new uh, whole setup deal that, that Tanya bought. That makes Wait. some really good oh. coffee. Oh, it, it does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I already have some on. Uh, does the do you guys want your usuals? Uh, yeah, yes, please. Yeah, okay, that'd be, that'd be great. Tanya leaves uh, the room with Rory with her father and it knows completely that Rory just feels really awkward around him and just like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's got like flour all over his shirt and stuff, and he looks at you like wiping his hands like. <laughs> Oh, it's so awkward. <laughs> she comes back with two cups yeah. of coffee <laughs> and hands it to you. Thank you. Tanya, Thank you. right. Uh, I was actually, I was just trying to sort of talk about what's what's been going on around here. What do you mean, Dad? Sweetie, I, I think that what you've been doing around here is just, just great, sweetie. We love that you want to be part of the business and you're 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 putting money into the business and growing it and and you know we really are so proud of you muffin we, we really are um but you know your old man wasn't born yesterday like i've been around the block a few times i know that there just is no way that you're just saving your allowance up for this so um Uh, uh, he looks over at Rory too. He's like, I, I mean, I, I've been working at the dock still. Um, so you know, I'm, I've been, I've been pitching in, a little bit. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're we're real we're real we're real close now. Tanya yeah, leaps yeah. arms with them. We're, yeah, we're like, <laughs> real close. Real, real close. We're, we've become we're really real good close. friends. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm really grateful that uh, you guys let me stay. Obviously, I'm going to be helping out any way I can, and that yeah. includes providing some money, because you know, living ain't free. <laughs> so you're exactly. You're really telling me that you've just been saving your allowance up. And that both of you came up with everything you needed to buy this adjoining space and pay these fellas to renovate it and and buy all the do the the new you know clean up and fix up the oven and all this stuff sir i've been working very hard um like i've been going down to the docks every day uh moving boxes opening boxes closing boxes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Putting things mm -hmm. in boxes, taking them and out I, of boxes. And I've been, I've been selling, I've been selling uh, my cookies at school. Um, so you know, there's a, there's a lot of different ways we've been pitching in to get this place for you know Rory and me having to live, but also a nice place for the people to feel safe. Oh, oh you guys, <laughs> I'd love, I'd love a deception check. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, is um, Rory giving me the help action? Am I rolling it? Or no, both I of think us you guys it? are both being deceptive right now. So let's just let's just get a couple of them. All right. All right. All right. Let's. Uh... Oh no! Oh no! Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. So you're telling me that Rory has a minus one. <laughs> And that Tanya has a plus five. And that Rory is more convincing, but neither of you are. So Harry, your dad, just like looks at you and shakes his head and he's like, I do not know what you are involved in, sweetie, but your mother and I, Georgie and I are worried. Listen, sweetheart, I'm, I know that you're you're becoming a you're a woman and you're you're living your own life, but uh, you can talk to me about these kinds of things. You know, do you even know? Like, we haven't seen that that wizard fella who's supposed to be, you know, giving you tutoring. He's been missing for like, I haven't seen him in two weeks, three weeks. Yeah, our tutoring kind of came to an end. Um, so, Dad, I don't, I can't. And then there's this uh, sort of clattering at uh, the front door of the bakery as these three people walk in. The one in the front is this uh, half-orc woman. Uh, Zara, could you give us like a little description of, of what your character looks like as they sort of uh, barge into this? Um, bakery in, in Central Appadine? Yes. Um, so Marish is very tall. She's over six feet tall. Um, she's wearing a acrobat's play suit with huge poofy pants. There's like little gold de details all over, pink hair, uh, and just the biggest smile. She's, she's practically skipping into the bakery right now. And uh, you're greeted by um, there's like there's like a, a wall with like pictures and prices on it, and and then it's got like a big window in the wall with a counter space that has like some pre-made um, different. There, there, a lot of it is just like baguettes and bread, but there are also now over on the other side a few little like cupcakes and pastries and things like that. And there is a middle-aged woman with like wavy brown hair who greets you and she's like, welcome to the Baker family bakery. Uh, what what can I do for you? Hi. Oh my God. Baker family bakery. Like you hear the connection, right? Oh my God. That's so funny. Did you do that on purpose? Did you become a baker because your last name is Baker? Never mind. Anyway, um, I need pastries. I, um, I'm looking for something very specific, so I hope you have it. Um, by any chance, do you have tompuze? Oh, oh, maybe. Oh, you know what? That would be my daughter who would know about that. Um, let me run get her uh and um 
it's it's like it's literally just like turns around and gestures at you uh tanya because it's a very it's a pretty small room that contains the the um you know bakery space here and and she just sort of calls you over like hey uh sweetheart we got somebody who's asking about uh one of your maybe you know fancy um pastry things uh yeah i'd be happy to help what what do you need wait a second did i go I, you i know you we went to high school together you were like a class below me right yeah you always you always smelled so good you know that i remember that that makes place. sense you smell like bread oh, this is so nice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. ah well okay great Lovely to see you. I need some help. I'm looking for something very specific. It's okay. very important. Okay. I'm lo looking for Tompuza. Tompuza. Yes. Uh, what Do is... You um... Do you want to roll a bakery check to see if you have that? That's a performance? Thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm going to roll performance. Yeah. Bakery check. This is a bakery roll for bakery. <laughs> Um, my a rolls 10. Today it's not great. Are bad. I have a plus uh, five. Yeah, I think with on a ten, you. It sounds familiar, and you definitely don't have any on hand. You might have to ask some follow up questions. I. It sounds real. I don't think I've made this before, but I think I've read about it. Can you tell me more about uh, this pastry? I might be able to make you some. All right, it's like uh, a layer of um, like pastry dough with a whole bunch of custard on it, another layer of pastry dough, um, icing, and the most important ingredient is uh, fish oil. So I hope you can whip that up. Yes, I don't. Mom, do we have fish oil? You know, we might not, but you could probably head next door. I mean, I, I, I can go next door. I can, I can, I can, I can go. Would you mind? That no, would I wouldn't be... mind at all. Of course. Oh, I really appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, that's just you know the the fellow who's who sells all the all the fish and and the dairy and and the the you know ingredients and pro. It's like two two houses up the street. Sure. Okay. Okay. You know where you're. Uh, yeah. Why am I telling you? <laughs> you know where you're. Yeah. Going. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll go immediately. Yeah. Like, um, I just like start it, rushing. You can just <laughs> cut through the. Um, the little like cafe seating area and okay. um you didn't see them come in but there is a purple lady sitting there okay um looking kind of uncomfortable <laughs> uh, with like a little menu in her hand okay. of like th uh, there's like a little little paper uh things with with um all the all the pastry <laughs> options on there yeah, I, I'm kind of rushing past, but I, I guess if I, not, I notice this and I, I kind of stop and say, "Hey, oh, has anybody helped you? Are you okay? Are you okay here?" Oh, you're on mute as well. Um, yeah, just I, uh, I, I don't know what any of these are. What? Oh, what, um, what is this? So this is a, well, welcome to the bakery, the Baker Family Bakery. Um, we've got a bunch of different selections. Uh, what kind of what are, you, what, are you, what are you looking for? Oh, oh, Rory. Um, hi. Wait, I, I didn't know you worked here. Wait, are, are you the are you the janitor from our school? Yeah, oh my, yeah. I we, haven't I'm, seen you in so long. It's uh, been been a few weeks since the uh, end of the school year, I guess. It's yeah. Well, e even then, I wasn't around uh, that much by the end. I was uh, kind of yeah, busy. Yeah, kind of disappeared. E everything okay? Is this oh, where you've been? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, I've been, um, I've been working here. I've been helping my friends out. Um, yeah, things have been okay. Things have been okay. H how are you? I, uh, are you still working at the school? It's, well, oh yeah, it's, yeah. It's summer. What are you doing? At the Wait. School still needs cleaning in the summer. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Lucky me, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Steady paycheck. Uh -huh. But yeah. um, I'm I, actually uh, listen. I'm I'm looking for my I'm looking for my cousin. I don't I don't know if you've seen uh, seen anyone. You know, maybe not really. Um. Yeah, I know what you mean. You, you're I, used to seeing. Well, I mean, you're you're pretty you're a pretty new person around these. Well, 
at least this side of these parts. Um, I don't think I've seen anybody else uh, like you. Hmm. I'm sorry. I wish I could help. Oh, Are you supposed okay. to meet them here? Um, not here specifically, but um, I, I thought maybe that she might have popped in here. It really smells really good passing by. I thought that might have drawn her in. Yeah, Tanya's um, a, an amazing baker. Uh, you remember Tanya, right, from school? Oh, yeah, look over oh. there, over there, back over there. Yeah, I don't think we ever really like talked. But... Yeah, Tanya, look who it is. <laughs> from where you are, is too. Roy, you can see, uh, you can also see Marish, who uh, was mm -hmm. in your grade and then sort of didn't come back at one point. I don't know if you guys would have okay. kept in touch after that or not, um, but that might be a little like. Uh, sting of of uh you know remembering that and then the person mm -hmm. behind her you don't necessarily know this is like this tall gangly human guy with long blonde hair with like this really like peaceful expression and um they're like it's just like squeezing in past her and and like just looming behind that guy there is a uh like yoked out um bugbear which is uh like a goblin adjacent connected person um right and uh the uh, mirrors you feel like a hand on your shoulder as this guy just sort of like pushes you not in the like most polite way to the side and walks up to the bakery counter and um looks at Tanya, your mom, and he's like, so uh, who do I talk to about changing the way your contribution to the well-being of this neighborhood works? Excuse me. Um, I was talking. Could you just let, let me finish helping this this wonderful person right here, and I'll be right with you. You can help me first, and then her. Um, I don't Excuse have, me? you know, forever. So you you pay you pay like taxes. You pay like something to the to the people who keep this area safe for you. Don't we all what is what is your point? Because I'm I do not like you already and I'm about to ask you to leave my establishment. Oh, that's too bad, man. I you know, she like she relax a little bit about it. It's it's gonna be um, triple that, and you you pay me now. No, I don't pay you now. You leave my establishment. <sighs> I don't know why people. And he like looks at the bugbear, and he's like, you know, break something. He's like, oh. at this point, Rory's like been starting to like slide over, because uh, I, I got the tension. I'm like, okay, no, uh, Tanya has to leave. Leave now. And I've like, you don't like, want to start my, anything. I move my jacket a little bit, and I, I slightly reveal like I have a knife or like a, a sword. Yeah, kind of hidden um, in my clothing. You know, Tanya, that um, you just paid um, the the group, and there there is like a racketeering shakedown type of thing that happens in this neighborhood and you know that that is sort of unavoidable and it's honestly like not the worst mm -hmm. um there's this gang and they've been the sort of the group that has done this in the neighborhood for a long time and they're called the brave wings and uh you know they basically keep other groups from doing the same thing mm -hmm. so it's kind of like but yeah, this this guy's got a different um, insignia on his jacket. It's this bright blue crystal. And um, let me just let me just this. You look down at your hands, and they are the hands of a five-year-old. Tanya, um, you are walking kind of carefree, exploring around a North Abedim alleyway. Um, I think you maybe got distracted by a cat and were like watching what it was doing and following it around. And suddenly 
the ground beneath you cracks and then cracks again and tilts and there is a cave in and you completely try to grab and hold on in any way you can but you lose your footing and are pulled tumbling down into this chasm that erupts beneath your feet um, level after level as the like layers of shell and bone of the city give way and finally you roll to a stop do you remember how you felt then um i think i felt i felt really scared and alone and i just remember all of my body hurting mm -hmm. um yeah yeah you remember wandering alone and lost in the dark with an arm that was just sending shooting spikes of pain and wasn't moving right and um for a time you walked around in fear and despair until this voice that you still can remember the soft voice said come to me and i will help i i remember i was really confused because i couldn't see anybody down here in the dark i was just been following along um mm -hmm. the wall and i remember using the blood from my injuries to like kind of keep pace where i was um and and i re yeah i just remember being really confused and i end up crying out um I end up crying out, um, hello? Who are you? Where am I? Your voice echoes in these like, twisting passageways and there's no light. You just hear the voice say, come to me and I'll help. And it doesn't come from a direction. It feels like it's in your own thoughts. But as you continue to walk, you see this blue glow, which is so faint at first, but gets brighter and brighter and brighter as you follow it into this open cavern to it's nearly blinding this light. Um, its source is this placid pool of water. And at its center, there is this magnificent tree. It's looming and vast like a live oak, just twisting its way to fill the entire cavernous space that it's in. And at its heart, clasped in its trunk, is this perfectly smooth blue gem. And to look at this gem is to lie back in the ocean under the water and look up at the sun through the waves. And the voice in your head says, come rest child. I will keep you safe and I will go. Oh no. He's a frozy boy. Oh no. Huh? No. To the tree. <laughs> oh, sorry. You cut out uh, LSD. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, did I? Where was yeah. the last thing I said? Um, the tree. Uh, you remember running to the tree? Yeah. Remember running to the tree and it has this gem in the middle and you're describing how when you look up, it feels like you're in the ocean looking up and then the tree was starting to talk. Oh, yes. Yeah. So the tree just says um, in your mind, it says, come rest, child. I will keep you safe. I'll guide you. And yeah, even though you're so afraid, you run and you remember like wrapping your little arms as far around this massive trunk as they will go and just resting there finally and feeling like a measure of peace until you finally fall asleep. And that, and your eye and your hair changed to the blue that they are now. Um, you also remember going back once to try to find it but that was another story. Um, you're back in the bakery now, and this guy, this, you know, lanky dude with the blonde hair uh, has this symbol, and, like, you look at this, 
you know, patch on his clothes. And as soon as you look at it again, it's like, maybe it's just a blue circle thing. Maybe it's just supposed to look and it just reminded you of it. But he's anyway, he's like, I don't have time. Okay, so it's triple. You pay us now and you understand what happens if you don't. Like, do we need to give you a reminder here? I can't believe you. Like, yeah. Well, here's the facts. I already know I paid you, right? I already paid you all. So I don't know if there's a miscommunication amongst your leadership. Um, so I'm sorry. Mm. So you guys can talk and then come back later, especially when you can be more polite to me. I don't know who you paid, but you didn't pay us. Um... Look, uh, Murag, just, I don't know, smash the door off its hinges or something. And uh, this- Tanya, uh, Misty steps right in front of this bear, like this uh, bear, the- bleh, Bug bleh, bear, yeah. Bug bear. And, um, and then I'm gonna cast Arms of Hadar. Hell yeah. What does that do? <laughs> so, hold on. Um, arms of Hadar. Hold on, let's just that do that. That sounds epic. <laughs> Arms of Hadar, you invoke the power of Hadar, the dark hunger. Tendrils of dark energy erupt from you and batter all creatures within 10, a 10 feet of you. Each creature in that area makes a strength saving throw. On a failed save, the target takes 2d6 of necrotic damage and can't take reactions until its next turn. On a successful save, that creature <laughs> takes half damage but suffers no other effect. That's a good um, spell. Ow. Yeah, it's a great spell. Tanya, <laughs> Tanya is using if if it hits them, that's great. But she's using this more as like a fear factor for them of like, you don't know who you're messing with. I'm a little bit stronger. Get out. Okay. Um, Rory draws a sword. <laughs> yeah. Let's move you over here. Can you guys see this bakery? <laughs> uh <-huh>. Yep. <laughs> Uh, Did I get some initiative rolls? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, by the way, um, I'm just going to have you guys roll. The way I, I do a lot of stuff on paper. I'm an old man. Uh, so I'm just going to have you guys tell me uh, what you roll, and I'll, I'll keep track of it over here. Oh, nice. Cool. So you don't have to do the whole, like, connect it to your token thing yeah. unless you want to. Got it. Wait, what was the quick way to roll for initiative? Ah. Oh, no. <laughs> um, in your character sheet, you can click initiative. Yeah. yeah. I got a 19 snacks. Got a five. <laughs> You're not gonna like what I rolled. Uh oh. <laughs> 17 for Is it Too late to talk to this guy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh no. It's getting it's getting a little a little late in the in the game to well you know who knows maybe you can calm him down. There's it's never too late to talk. You know. Let me just write down this initiative order on paper because that's how I do things. He's standing next to me, right? Um. So number one is that tall fella. Yeah. And number two is his bugbear friend. Okay. How tall is he? So I did miss this step like right Not as tall as you quite, almost. Oh, okay. Above average. Where? Where am I? Here I the am. bug bear is gonna be, I think, your, your same height, if not even a little taller. He's okay. hulking, hulking dude. Okay. Um, so, uh, Taco Trash Can, if I hadn't rolled a natural 20, uh, which gives me a 22 on this bug bear's initiative, uh, you absolutely would go first. But instead, I think, so the combat's gonna start when you misty step. And as you start like preparing to cast Harms of Hadar, you're just gonna catch a sucker punch. Um, That's fine. I don't think it's going to hit you uh, with a freaking... What is his modifier here? Um, a 10 does not hit your armor class. It surely. does not. Um, so uh, you see this guy's got like these like um, white and blue like calcified growths on his hands. And so like when his... Uh, fist swings out there's like a glint of the light and it like splinters the frame of the door behind you but it's like whistles past your ear and you're out of the way and then you can cast your spell if that's still what you want to do 
Uh, yeah, no, I'm gonna cast. Where are you? Are you here? Um, yeah, I I would actually if if he's number two, I'd like teleport right in front of him. So I would be here, I think. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cast Arms of Hadar. He needs to make a DC 13 strength save. Okay, uh, Mirish, if you wouldn't mind also making a DC 13 strength save. I'm sorry. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, this is exactly wait. what I wanted. Thank you. You're gonna have to tell me how to do that real quick. Okay, uh, no worries. I think you can just click a strength save on your character sheet. So, on the left side of the core page, under proficiency bonus, there are your strength, dex, con, int, whiz, charisma, saving throws. Just yeah. click on the click on the word strength. And normal roll or? A... And yeah, normal roll. Okay. That'll work. All right. Good. Yeah. <laughs> And it's 16 strength? Uh, DC 13. Oh, 13 strength. Okay, so the bugbear will not save, but his human friend will. Okay. Seems backwards, um, but okay. It is... I know. 2d6 of necrotic damage. So, uh, take six, and then the other guy takes half, and then the bugbear can't make reactions until okay. his next turn. I'm going to put a little uh, icon on them to just show that they can't take any reactions. They're a little snail. That seems good. Um, and then... Um, Mira, she will take three uh, points of damage. Um, so if you just uh, reduce your uh, hit points down to 27, you've still got plenty. You'll be fine. Um, and then Tanya is going to um, use two of her three sorcery points. Where did my pen go? I dropped it. I'll keep track of that. Um, to quicken spell mage armor. Which Tell me brings, more. Um, it brings my AC. It's 13 plus my dexterity modifier. So it brings my AC up to... Um, Better. 15. It brings it up to 15. So Noise. Yeah. So you've got spells going off for days. Araxi, you've just watched this bakery. Like, you don't know maybe for sure if this is, but I think you suspect that this is not normal bakery behavior. There I is mean, an eruption not, of, but it's also of not arcane unfamiliar. violence. It's not unfamiliar. So so she reaches down to her her pack that she brought and quickly pulls out her, her modified armor and as her action will put it on. Excellent. So, uh, and um, then with a bonus, since it is in guardian mode, uh, she will um, pop uh, one of its its charges to give herself three temporary hit points as well. So, so Rory just watched the janitor from his school get dressed. Like, tell me more. <laughs> what does so, this look like? So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so, well, I don't know because this is behind. This is happening behind you. So yeah, that's I kind of fair. Maybe not. Maybe yeah, nobody sees yeah. it. But I want to know. You want to know? So so, Aroxy, like she's dressed. She's dressed. To be clear, <laughs> she is clothed. Um, but she's got her pack with her because judging. she doesn't know what she's gonna find looking for her her niece, and she she likes being prepared. So she reaches down and grabs what looks like just kind of um, disconnected hunks of metal uh, shaped metal and just kind of in in a matter of seconds just slaps different pieces on her body and it it like glows a bit and connects into a suit of armor that's just covering her like it, it was a few pieces that that connect and then the rest of her body just immediately gets covered by this uh, sheath of metal like like almost like unfolding and like articulating from itself I think iron man yeah yeah if you're thinking iron, iron man, man you're not God. too but like with 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 maybe more like steam and and sparks and whistles yeah well no no it's it's completely magical so less steam and less sparks and less whistles more more Better. just glow um Hell yeah and and she will um 
step one, two, three, like around the table, uh, as as uh, and now like Rory, you see you see her come around like completely different. Yeah, I, I, I'm like like what? <laughs> but I, I have my sword out, so I'm, I my initial thought is like is like is there somebody else? I think we second yeah, register that like like no wait that was that's a Roxy. And, I'm, and I'm as she steps forward, she says, "No, no, I'm sure we can still talk this out." Uh, um, yeah. Tanya, Tanya sees the janitor, and she's like, "Oh <laughs> hell yeah!" Like, <laughs> like Tanya's like, "These guys gonna get um, messed up." This tall dude, he's he's still like, seems like he's really taking this all in stride, and is almost like frustratingly um, just kind of placid about the whole thing. And he's like, "Does this?" really the way you want to do this and he reaches across the counter and grabs your mom by the hair and pulls her head down onto the counter i'm going to use, i'm i'm going to cast a protective field to stop her mom from taking any damage fascinating uh, or to like reduce the amount of damage it takes okay um what's that um so i mentioned or i i preluded earlier that i have some some more magical abilities i um so i can basically if somebody else takes damage in front of me, that I can see, I can use one of my psionic energy die to reduce the amount of damage to take. So it's like make me like a, a quick shield to protect. Absolutely, them. yeah. Go ahead and roll that dice. Let's see how much damage you reduce, and we'll see what we're rolling against. Um, I think it's just like this. Okay. Um, plus your intelligence modifier. Oh which yes. Which I'm imagining is three. Um, it's actually two. Two. Plus two. Be smarter. No. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I think what you guys see is just this guy, like, reaches out and tries to, like, smash your mom's head against the counter, um, Tanya, and, uh, with, like, a real quick reaction, Rory reaches out, and there's this, like, glowing, sort of opaque, swirling white, um, barrier, and she looks more startled than hurt. It's hard to tell if it did any damage at all, but, um, yeah, you're just standing right there, Mirish. What do you want to do? Uh, I want to, like, kind of slide in there, like, try to get between, uh, the, the guy and the mom, okay. and be like, hold up, Hold up. You're being rude. I needed a pastry. And this is not how you treat this business. And basically, I want to try and still intimidate this guy. Okay. I'm reaching for my weapon. Listen. Okay. So you're you're sh you're trying to like <laughs> shove him out of the way with one hand basically. Like yeah, to get in between him and her, you're going to have to push him out of the way, right? I guess, yeah. Okay, um, <laughs> I think that you make an athletics check for that. I'm gonna have to double check. Okay. The rules, the rules of D&D 5th edition. Yep. Where we're going, we don't need it's rules. It's called shove. Where we're going, we don't need rules. Shove action. Roll me a D20 while we're talking about it. Uh, okay. That's a good number. Um, you're going to add a strength in your proficiency to that, which is lots, and he's going to try to oppose that, and he's not going to roll well. So yeah, you can absolutely shove him. And that basically is your action for the turn to move him. Like, do you want to move him over here so he's not next to this woman anymore? Mm -hmm. You can follow him if you want to with that action and move into that space so that you're in between them. Uh, yeah. And yeah, sure. do go ahead and give me an intimidate check while you're at it. Okay. Uh, give me intimidation. Hmm. Ooh. I'm very Ooh. scary. <laughs> yeah, what is this like? Like, what is your, what is the um, appearance? Why are you so spooky? It's it's a very odd, charming intimidation. I kind of get a little bit bigger, and I'm like, listen, you don't want to do this. Trust me, you don't. I'm bigger, I'm stronger, and we're 
all better. So you better have a nice chat with us. Maybe try a pastry or get out. And that's it. Finally, uh, like this, this guy's eyes go wide and he seems to take you seriously. Um, but it's Rory's turn. What, do, what are you up to? Um, I, okay, so I'm still coming up around the counter. I just protected the mob and I saw, I guess I just saw this all happen, right? Um, Indeed. Yeah. I'm going to follow up the intimidation um, and I'm going to like take my sword and basically like approach with this with my sword. Okay. And kind of go like, you're really going to want to leave right now. So you're, you're additionally adding on to the intimidation here, but not necessarily attacking. I'm not going to, I'm not going to attack. Okay. No, because um, I, ju I just saw how scary I, I, I kind of just, I'm, I, I just saw that like that intimidation seemed to have started to like click with them. I dusted yeah. a little dust off his shoulders as I did that too. Yeah. <laughs> off the guy's shoulders? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm standing in front of him, dusting him off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm also I'm very I'm very confident that like we actually can take them if they do want to continue fighting. So yeah, I'm not I'm not actually intimidation <laughs> with advantage uh then Dragners based on like adding on to the previous successes. Okay. I don't um, think the DC is going to be super high either. Advantage. <laughs> End of the day. Why are I'll the talk. rolls so bad for us today? <laughs> I'm kind of like, like, hey, hey, bully, get out of here. <laughs> Too nerdy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which, what they said. They were going to leave. <laughs> No. Do you want to do anything else with your turn? I'm trying to help. I swear I'm trying to help. Oh, fine. Um, I guess noticing that they're not taking Nick seriously, I use my second wind to just fucking, I just wail on them. Wait, isn't it just, like flurry of? It's not it's second wind. No, I I, I I just got my I got my action um. Surge. But the yeah, intimidation shouldn't have been like a full action. Like that's just a free yeah. speak action. That's fair. Okay, okay. Air. Why can't I find your, um... Oh, Arms of Hadar. Cool. Can't take reactions. Okay, well, I, I'm still gonna use... I'm just gonna I'm just gonna attack as if I have Flurry of Blows. I'm gonna attack them, and then I'm gonna use my Action Surge to attack them again. <laughs> yeah, you can... Yeah, so what does Action Surge do? You just get to use a second action, action um, on that turn, right? Yeah, and I like, can use If you have multi-attack, it's, it's a multi-attack action, but you don't at third level, so this is just no. gonna be two attacks on... Are you, where can you get, where are you moving? What's happening? Um, oh wait, that's a good point. Can I, can I even actually get close enough to Yeah, him? that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Assuming you have 30 feet of movement, you can get there. Mm, and I, yeah, as long as you're not moving through like the middle of these tables, it's not gonna one, cost you two. extra movement. Okay, sure. Maybe I, maybe I can like slide over the table as I'm going. Yeah, go ahead and move your, your token. Yeah, oh. Um... If we're getting too fancy. <laughs> So, they're the ones and twos, right? Can I can I get it here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because it's one, two. Yeah, you can for sure. So I rush them, and I attack with my sword. Um, this is that um, yoked out bugbear. Right, because I can't actually get at the other guy. Because you're kind of behind. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, take that. Hey, they take that. that a roll. Nice. Um, and then I use my act, uh, my second wind to attack again. Mm -hmm. uh, that that unfortunately won't hit. So um, okay, okay. They are you know um, caught off guard by that first attack, but the second one they managed to just sidestep enough. Uh, and in response, what are they going to do? This is, this is a target-rich environment for this um, bugbear. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, you know, so far, the one who has hurt them, it's, it's equal, actually. I'm going to just do 50-50 uh, here. Odd, even. Even. Sorry, Tanya. Uh, 
I, it doesn't matter. I rolled like crap. So, uh, same thing. They've got these, like, uh, fists that are, like, covered in these, like, little, like, tiny, like, sparkly spikes or something like that and you know they sort of glint as they like try and take them both and do one of those like hands clapped overhead just like all four snow technique type attacks and um what does you had your um shield spell or mage Mage armor armor. yeah Mm -hmm. so you don't entirely get out of the way but you can feel like the arcane force just absorb some of that um and it is your turn to respond tanya Okay, um, Tanya is going to use Dissonant Whispers to try to try to get them to leave again. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and give that to you all. Uh, you whisper a distant melody that only one creature of your choice within range can hear. Um, racking it with terrible pain, the target must make a wisdom saving throw, DC 13 again. On a failed saving throw, it takes 3d6 of psychic damage um, and must immediately use its reaction, if able, to move as far away as its speed allows from you. The creature doesn't move into an obviously dangerous ground, uh, such as a fire pit. On a successful save, it takes half as much damage. Do um, you know who you're targeting? I am targeting Mr. One. Okay. He seems to be taking, doing the shots. He will roll a wisdom save and a natural 20. What? I know. Uh, he will still take uh, half of 3d6, so you can roll that. Instead of pain, he'll do a little dance to the music. Wait a second, hold on. 3d6, do I add my... Nope. No, 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 I don't. Okay. Yes, yeah, spell, so spell damage is just the thing. So, yeah, he'll take seven uh, damage. So he's still, like, what do you say in your dissonant whispers? Um, I I say, and I, I also, I think, like, also use, like, some of, like, my psychic powers to give him the image of, like just like these like wiggling arms like choking him to death but essentially just um i say it is in your best interest to leave (laughs) and never come back you could still give me an intimidation check to try and cancel out kyle's intimidation check and get back to intimidated okay because they were gonna leave kyle Uh, normal roll. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, it is Araxi's turn to act. Araxi steps forward. Um, and, um, excuse me, I'm I'm sorry. And kind of squeezes past. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. And, Mm -hmm. and just stands there like, just butts no harm no foul and just stands there deliberately between them and the people behind the counter um and she will ready an attack if they try to move past her okay. toward, toward the 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 uh people who are not able to defend themselves okay anything else you'd like to do yes nope you just trying, eye, eyeing everyone, just like trying to gauge, like, are they leaving? Are they not? Mm-hmm. Um, I think I think this is like hanging in the balance here because um, you guys have have shown like some incredible uh, abilities all of a sudden, and the the balance for these two specific um, people is is not looking good. Um, you've definitely got their attention. Um, I'll say this. I'll give one more person who wants to do something to try to convince them to stop fighting and leave. Uh, Whoever wants to do something, let me know. And we'll we'll see what that does. I mean, I think Tanya just looks at them dead in the eyes and it's just like, and it's just like, what's more important to you, money or your life? 
Because I will take it. Trying to set the likelihood of this for them, knowing who they are. I mean, money could be more important to them. Yeah. Um, the uh, human with the with the blonde hair looks down and sighs, and he's like, "We'll go. We'll leave." But this is so far from over for you. Talk to your people. I keep a very good ledgers, and uh, and she points to a ledger behind the, the the thing, the behind the counter, and it's like, she knows I paid you already. Um, the guy looks around at, at the different things in your bakery, and and they'll both step outside past you if they'll if you'll let them. Yeah, I'll let them get out. Can I can I grab two pastries and hand it to them as they leave for the oh, road? Yeah. The hobgoblin like takes them and it's like, huh. like <laughs> good. Yeah, I'm not good. a complete monster. <laughs> um, I say to Tanya, don't worry, I'll pay for those. I'll consider it. You, it's fine. Uh, Thank you so much for your help. And and they're both sort of backing up. The the hobgoblin looks sort of just like peacefully walking off, eating a pastry, and like <laughs> it's like you know looking kind of rough, like kind of hurt, but is like very distracted by this delicious treat. Uh, the human is like taking steps backwards and like still looking at you and the bakery, and he's like, "You need to think about what this is worth to you and how easy it would be for something to happen to this place." And, um, yeah. As as they step away, like, by the time you all turn back, Aroxy is standing there again, just normally clothed, like a small, tucking a helmet <laughs> under her under her arm. That's funny. And, and she'll, she'll, as Tanya comes in, you should have paid them. This is not going to end well for you or your family. Tanya comes in and she's like, she's like, you should think about what you. Oh, that's what I could have said. I could have said you should think about what your life means to you. Ah. <sighs> yeah, I should have paid him, but you know what? I'm tired of people extorting my family, so we'll figure it out. I'm sure. Yeah, I, I think we had that honestly. I, I mean, I got some good strikes in. You're not always <laughs> going to be here to protect them. Well, I, I kind of live here. So, nah, I kind of live here too. I, I will. Be, I will be here. It's very ominous, though. Are you sure you're just a janitor? Yeah, where did that come from? It was pretty freaking cool. Unlike those beautiful. guys who were really uncool. Oh, real so quick, cool. before I forget, I can make your pastries for you and have them for you by the end of today. Is that okay? Oh, that would be great. Oh, that's what? awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, Oh, great right, I'm gonna need to go to fish oil. Um, I, I didn't actually go, okay. Oh, that's uh, great. <laughs> hey, Tanya, can I borrow some money? Um, yeah, 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 I got okay, you. Okay. Right, cool, cool, <laughs> uh, nice. I handled a gold piece. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I guess I just, I just like rush out. And like, uh, uh, if you're still here, and I, kept, I hope you're still here, and I, I, want, I would love to talk to you, Araxi. Mm -hmm. um, it's so nice seeing you. I just gotta, I just gotta run and get some fish oil. Yeah. Okay. Hurry. Awkwardly scampers out this door here. <laughs> 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 Um, Tanya turns to Araxi and is just like, it's like, do you like a baked good for helping us out? Oh, I, I didn't, I didn't do anything. It's fine. I, thank you. Um, no, I, no, no, my pleasure. Tanya just goes and grabs a, the, grabs a, a, a cookie and a cup of coffee and hands them to Araxi. Um, and then also like just checks on her mother and looks at her mother's head, like, just really examines her mom, like, are you okay? Yeah, um, so the spell that Rory cast absorbed all the damage. It was, you know, an unarmed attack, um, and she oh. is, you know, uh, I don't think I moved her token, but she, her and your dad, like, he, he, like, moved to, like, protect her, but they're both sort of standing back in the, you know, back of the bakery, and they come back and they're like, what? Sweetie, what in the world was that all about? They wanted extra money, and I decided that I wasn't going to give it to them. 
uh, I mean, do you even know who those people were? No, but I mean, we've already paid somebody for protection. And then Tanya picks up the ledgers and waves them around. So I don't know who these clamp bozos are. Yeah, I if mean, you, we... If you paid someone for protection, they're not doing a great job. Yeah, I, I know, I gotta, I gotta go <laughs> talk to some people, apparently. Yeah, I mean, that the wings were supposed to run the whole neighborhood. Was that the gang that they're from? Um, so you would know that, um, this gang, the Brave Wings, they have this, they have, they have, like, stuff that, like, if you're part of it, is, like, a signifier. And they are specifically, they have these, like, dragonfly wing tattoos around their neck, like, up to their collar, uh, okay. and tattoos. Um, these guys did not have that. They had that weird, um, blue patch. Okay. Gotcha. All right. So I would assume they're not a part of the Brave Wings. Um, I think next um, I would like to contact uh, the Brave Wings and tell them about the supposed gang that just came into my shop. Okay. Um, you know where you would head for that. Uh, uh, prop. You know at least they operate out of the north side of the neighborhood um are you doing that right away or, or are you guys like talking this over um remind me uh the pastry uh mirish was for your your uh grandma right yes is it her birthday correct yes her, her birthday is tomorrow mm -hmm. so i i need the pastry that we always eat on her birthday so that's, that's obviously priority number one yes yes it definitely is yeah, I think Tanya goes back and like makes the pastry and calms down a little bit to like think things through. Um, and she's developed more of a temper uh, since our last our last thing. Sure. Um, since killing a man, <laughs> she's developed a little bit of a mental instability. Um, she just, you know, maybe yeah. is a little bit quicker to see that as an option. Right? Yeah. Fine, whatever. First time is always the hardest. It is. It's it easier and easier. <laughs> it's so easy. Um, and so yeah, so she, so uh, so she'll work on Marish's bake uh base goods, and then just uh, uh kind of uh, she also like telepathically talks to her dad and is like it is like if I tell you what's happening you'll die. And then she's like, don't talk to me about this at all. And then makes the pastries. But that's like, she puts that message in his head. You, have you ever done that before? Not to my parents, no. Um, your dad, you hear in your own thoughts because that creates like a link, right? Yeah, uh, yes. Um, you hear his voice in your head like can can you hear this sweetheart yep muffin i would you know you know i would do anything to keep you and your mom safe it's, you gotta tell me what's going on it's it doesn't i can't keep i can't protect you guys if i don't know what's happening um Let's just say our wizard friend made me pay off our debt. And now uh, we're a little bit more popular than we normally would be. So you think that those folks were what? Like you're in a gang war or something like that? Oh, no, no, no. I am not in a gang where I'm not a part of those people and what they stand for. Absolutely not. No. I think that these, those people who came in were, may have heard about us. I don't really know what they may or may not have heard. But I don't know what those people were about, to be honest. That's why I didn't just pay them. In the meantime, um, 
Georgie uh, Baker, Tanya's mom, has has walked around the counter and um, she's got like these uh, fresh, um, like really fluffy, like sourdough loaves, like one in each hand. And she, and she hands one to you, Mirish, and one to you, Araxi, and is like, you you helped everybody out. You were, oh my, I have, thank you so much. Can you take these? Can we? Uh, no, no, please. I, are, are you all right? Oh, I think I'm fine. I, you know, I've been in a scrap or two in my day. I can handle myself, you know? She definitely still <laughs> takes the loaf even while protesting. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, no, I couldn't. I, I couldn't. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> oh, no, please. I, it was all... Oh, well, okay. <laughs> this, this is um, lovely. I, I would love to take this. I love bread. Did you know that? I love bread. Thank you. Thank you so much. I will bread is just the best, bread. you know? Just keeps you, keeps you warm and full, and you can do so Thank much you. with it. I mean, think about all the things you can do with bread. <laughs> that's, oh, that's our, that was our motto for a while, and then we just got rid of it because it didn't fit on the sign. <laughs> and you got some weird questions. <laughs> Tanya, Tanya is now moved from anger to sheer embarrassment. Uh, just Rory, in you, the you back. saw it back in with yeah, like yeah. a little thing of uh, like it's like a vial of fish oil and like almost an entire gold piece worth of chain, like nine silver. Okay, and, okay. And five copper or something like that. I'm, I'm also very out of breath. I was running very, like, it's going as fast as possible. Okay. So you're here. <laughs> okay. Fish oil, <laughs> panting. The camera seemed to have frozen. But yeah, yeah, it did. Yeah, that's You weird. seem happy on where it froze, though, so that's yeah. good. I don't think I've ever seen this happen. Oh, no. I, I might need to stop my video and start it again. Uh... We may we may wind up having some shuffling okay, happen, I am but so go sorry. for it. Yeah, let me try no, this. No worries. I'm ready to no shuffle. Worries at all. Everybody do the shuffle. Who am I gonna be? I cannot wait. I'm ready. Is Zoom just unhappy? Yeah, is Zoom just really unhappy? Oh no. Can you hear me still? Yep. Yeah, we can hear you still. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, give me a second. My Zoom is dying. Question no, mark? no worries at all. I was okay. um hmm, was thinking about taking our break soonish. Maybe well, now is the time yeah. for technical reasons. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but technology. That's all right. It do be. I mean, we are playing a game across the world. Mm, in true. what, four countries? Uh, I think so. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, four, four some country is going to be some. What? Three time zones? Three time zones, yeah. yeah there's going to maybe be apart. some some tech gremlins from time to time. Indeed. Uh, so, friends, uh, we're going to take five to ten uh, to, you know, stretch, maybe get some snackages, some beverages, bread, uh, and recharge bread. some bread, maybe <laughs> even. So many things you can do with bread. So many Delicious things. Bread. <laughs> so many things. Um, but uh, I hope you've all enjoyed it so far. And uh, we'll be right back with more Day Big City Nights, Episode 3. Yeah.
Oh, hello. Welcome back. Red. Thank you for rejoining us at um, Bread City Nights. Daybreak City Bread. Day Bread. City of Bread. Day Bread <laughs> City. Welcome, Bread. <laughs> welcome, Bread, everyone. Welcome, 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 Bread. <laughs> welcome to Bread. Um, <laughs> so, uh, after like a scuffle uh, at the Baker Family Bakery, um, and, and a, you know, sort of quick check to make sure the whole family is all right. Um, I think you guys were um, deciding, thinking about wandering down the street um, to a place where, you know, you can find members of the Brave Wings gang um, to see why the protection money that you pay them isn't protecting you at all. Um, while that's happening, uh, you guys do see finally Nevin wander downstairs into the bakery and she's just looking around, like still sort of seepy. What is going on? Oh, uh, nothing. Oh, sorry. I, I totally forgot to bring your coffee. Um, and I look over and I think the coffee at this point is kind of cold. And yeah, sad. she looks at, at yeah. it and she's like, Kanye it's, just it's heats it cold. Up. Yeah, sorry. We uh we had a few customers who came in that that's uh, better mm. needed. Mm. Okay, there you go. There you go. Uh, but yeah, nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Uh, we're we're actually gonna head out for a little bit. Uh, will you be okay here? Yeah. Can you? Did you figure out where that noise is coming from? The no. What what noise? What? The, wait. No. Ta Tanya's going to open a telepathic link with Nevin to hear the noise she's talking about. Oh, to try to, um, mm -hmm. he, like, okay, interesting. So I think the telepathic link is usually for thoughts and you're trying to get, like, understand her experience here and what she's yeah. perceiving. Interesting. I like but that a can, lot. Yeah, she I can like also that. think about the, like, the noise too though okay she yeah. gets what you're trying to do so she tries to do that um, i'm just gonna have both of you make arcana checks why not okay oh I mean, she did good we're gonna make don't mess this up and and rory's kind of be like like yeah Evan, that was just a dream like that's not there, there's no noise here i don't know what you're talking about not bad okay, okay. Um, again, this is not exactly what your ability normally can do, but you know Nieven really well, and she is trying to cooperate with you, and you do get this faint... If you've heard people describe tinnitus, like a constant background sound, that might have a little bit of, of, of similarity to what you sort of just grasp for a moment in this connection there's like a ringing and it, it is it's resonant and it's kind of annoying uh and it's just there for a second and then it goes away can i tell like with my arcana check like uh, or like it may be like i i don't know like is there is is there anything in the city that sounds like that um, so I don't think you've experienced anything like that, like personally before. Okay. Um, I just tell, I'm just like, yeah, I don't know what that is, but it's there constantly, right? Yeah. Wait, I just started you, noticing it you a couple days ago and it's getting worse. Weird. I I'll like I'll I'll loop Rory in on it and I'll and I'll mimic like I'll mimic the sound in his head too. Okay. I'll be like Hi, it loses Rory. something with reproduction, obviously. Yeah. Wait, Nevin's actually hearing something. Yeah. Why did it's, she's your sister? You should Why trust don't... her. Well, I, I I she just woke up. I thought she. That's the first I've been hearing about it. Don't don't throw me under the bus like that. <laughs> I thought I thought you were still like, okay, all right, all right. You're hearing something, but we're not hearing it. So right. what does that mean? Um, my best guess is um, 
either there is something medically wrong with her or magically something's wrong either with me well it's either well either somebody's trying to communicate to you magically or you have like tinnitus where you constantly hear something but it did didn't really sound like tinnitus can i so i have detect good and evil and good um and i believe that can kind of know if there's something's been like magically manipulated or changed you can tell i like me what it does yeah give me the spell this description is it in there? i'll now throw it in the chat oh yeah you can all hear this yeah, okay yeah, yeah. okay also, also, Tanya's just like, oh, also, we got into a fight. Some guys were asking for extra money. Are you okay? Tanya, not supposed to... Yeah, we're okay. We're okay. Don't, yeah, don't worry fine. about it. Don't worry, Niven. We're, we're I, fine. I, I, I said he, like, this. waves at you, Mira. She's like, hey, welcome in. Are you, were you, did you fight? Did, did you guys fight each other? Don't. No, 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 no. Also, hi, by the way. Do you remember me? We used to go to school together. I was one class above you. Hi. Do you remember me? That's tall orc. Right, me. Miranda. Um, marriage, close enough, though. I, you know what? It's just lovely to see you. Sorry that you're hearing something, though. I, I got bread. Do you want some bread? You probably have enough bread. You you live in a bakery, but I'll share my bread if you want to. That's, yeah, no, I, you, like you said, I live in a bakery, but thank you. You, uh, Mirish, something weirdly, like, sounds familiar to you. Um... You live in a different neighborhood with your grandma um, called Krennel, and you have heard from a few different people in your neighborhood, including this morning, your grandma, something kind of similar. Okay. This experience that's being described. I'm sorry, what was okay. your name? My, uh, Nieven. Um, you, you said you're, you're hearing something? Cause my, my, my cousin also is, uh, apparently hearing something too. Who's your cousin? So... You know what? Now that you talk about it, actually, my gam cam this morning was complaining about a noise and I thought it was just like, the food processor kicking out or something but now that you say it this is kind of weird kind of freaky it is weird do you what are you can you guys tell us about your cousin and your gam gam well i mean she was talking about that there was this sort of buzzing this this noise and honestly i i, I didn't really think that much of it she's you know getting kind of old and her ears aren't that what they used to be so maybe i should ask her about it Oh no, he well, thinks like, it's gonna affect the birthday. Is your Gam Gam a magic user? Oh, it's your Gam Gam's oh. birthday? Yeah, tomorrow, nice, right? Oh, how cute. Oh, oh. I'll make sure to have a little message with the fake goods then. <laughs> oh, thank you. told me. Um, but yeah, no, I should, maybe you should ask her about it. Well, mm. is she, are, are either one of them magic users? Uh, no, my, my Gam Gam is not. Huh. Um, is your Gam Gam an orc or a half orc or? She's an orc. orc. Yes. Oh, okay. She used to be so big, but she, you know, with the age, she kind of shrunk down. But like, I'm, I'm almost like, you know, bigger and strong, but not really. But yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Huh. But what's the connection then? I don't between these people? Know. Why? Like, you're, you're more magical than I am. Yeah, you're very magical and you're not hearing this. So it's not, it's yeah, not a wizard thing. I don't know. It's a and your and your cousin's a Kreesborn, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, so we have a Kreesborn, a half elf, and an orc. And she, she I mean we out... live close to the crease, but not in the crease. And, and right. You don't. Mm -hmm. This bakery isn't near the crease. Anoxy pulls out the, the letter that she got and kind of scans through it and she says um is uh turns to Nieven um so, you, so when you, you're hearing this noise is it are there any like other sorts of things that you're feeling or or anything feeling like I don't know calmer than usual or is it like more annoying 
It's so weird that you say that. Um, it's not the worst. It's annoying when I think about it, but when I'm not thinking about it, it is kind of like all the other little thoughts and worries. I just think I don't think about them as much. I don't know, maybe it's not a bad thing. Hmm. It's kind of peaceful. But as long as I don't think about it too much, you know? Maybe you should keep thinking about it then. What happened with your cousin? She, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm looking for her. She ran away. Yes, please keep thinking about it, David. Keep thinking about it. Just annoy yeah. yourself. Annoy the dick inside of yourself. Okay, I'll try. I'll just drink a lot of coffee. Yeah. Uh, she hands her her half-finished coffee. That seems like a good idea. She pours your coffee into her half coffee, <laughs> and she's like, now I have a whole coffee, and she just starts like... <laughs> <laughs> So, wait, okay, so describe the sound to me again. Is it, is it like a ringing bell and it's annoying, but it's also calming? It's like a bell, kind of, um, but that doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. It's it... like, it just sort of pulses and continues. Would I know anything any any lore or anything about this because i imagine it's something with the, the city and i did i did graduate with honors <laughs> you did graduate with honors uh, i mean hmm. i'm trying to think where you would have encountered information about this well let's just see let's get a uh i don't know like a history check or or something adjacent to that i, I would like to, when you need it i would like your to, history i would like to have binks give him the help action <laughs> by by just being a cat being like <laughs> oh you remember all the things i'm a pretty kitty yeah maybe like your as cat I, maybe familiar like as I'm pondering. is trying to give the help action <laughs> maybe <laughs> anybody can do that as i'm like thinking about this like, like you know, i imagine your cat just, like comes to me and like you know, like jumps in my arm and, like oh oh and I kind of like helps me control my thoughts and think about this. There's a history check for you. Okay, you can roll again if Snack oh. will allow you to have advantage. Can I roll again? From the kitty. Just to see? Yeah, the go for it. From the kitty? Even better. <laughs> yeah, okay, you know what? I think you don't exactly remember. Okay hearing about this particular phenomenon but you do remember someone who knows a lot about weird phenomenon things like this especially in the city um he was this like lecturer who came to do school once and then you also went on a heist with him <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah wait like, wait, wait, didn't, remember the person who, who we worked with on that one job, the one job that we did? Didn't they know a lot about the city? What, Maybe they would what, know. What, what person, what job in your head? Shut up, that's the thing we're not supposed to tell them about. Yeah. Alien, like, yes, I remember him. And like, okay, and I kind of jumped because like, oh, like I was, I was kind of lost in my thoughts and just like completely absorbed in this. I forgot that, Nye that Nyevin was even here. <laughs> like, oh, right, yeah. Um, it, it was somebody who came into our school, um, and he talked a lot about about the city. They uh, they studied, they were studying the city. Then maybe they would know. Aelin, yeah, you're yeah. Aelin, do you guys yeah, but... want to find Aelin, or do you want to talk to the Brave Wings? Oh, or beans. do you want to do talk to Gam Gam? Or continue to talk to Nieven. You have so many options. Oh no. Oh my gosh. We could um, just eat bread. <laughs> or do we? Yeah, we could bread? just eat bread. It's never a bad call. Like, <laughs> how about we do can... one of those things? And Georgie bread can... looks over at you and she's like, "Bread can be so many things." 
<laughs> You're right. Brent can be so many things. We That's should put it mean. back on the sign. It was a good slogan. No, I was agree. A bad You're slogan. really wise, Mom. It was You're a bad slogan. Wise. I love you, but it was bad. Don't encourage her. <laughs> no, no, but she's right. <sighs> okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> just imagine, like. It's like the Baker's family, and then on Tanya's side, it just says bread can be so many things. <laughs> um, um, I mean, I, I'm getting kind of worried now, and this is affecting all of us. Maybe we should go talk to Aelin first. Do, do you know where Aelin lives? Aelin? Oh, they're they're um, there's somebody who we met at our school. They uh, they research a lot about the city, and they they know. I, I think they would know about this. Oh, they're a good person. Right. They're a great person. I mean, is it very far away? I, I, I kind of want to, I'm kind of worried. I would like to check off on my gam gam, but if it's like close by, I mean, I, I do want to know about this. So yes, where oh, is, it. how would, how would you know? Well, I mean, is he one of the teachers who've come into school over the summer at all? So he's not a teacher per se. He's okay. like a guest lecturer from the most prestigious university in the world. Oh, okay. Okay. I um, see. Yeah, I definitely would not know then. Well, I mean, like I, I'd have, I'd have taken note of him, but like only in the context of the school, I think. I mean, if you want to come in here, Ascon, I don't actually know where Aelin lives. Do you? <laughs> um, yeah, Aelin's, Aelin's digs a cheap, rented, really just sort of super low key accommodation. Um, and where would that be in the city? You have told me this, and I've forgotten, so I do apologize. I mean, there's lots of options. Um, yeah, it's if it's, it's like it could the, be in like Clingsley. It could the be the cozier in, end of affordable. Um, mostly because he doesn't need much. He yeah, he's he's single. He doesn't have any pets. Doesn't have any kids to look after. Just needs space for a few books he's working on. Gotcha. At the time, yeah, up and. In, so Up in like Siphon Row is 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 not um, too dissimilar from what you're describing. Yeah, okay, probably where there is, then. Where's the gang at that I need to talk to? Like a block and a half away. Okay, and then where's Gam Gam? In the Grenel. Yeah. Okay, um, and we were in Aphrodite, right? Yes. Okay. Mm. So. I propose we do these in order. The city is your oyster, almost literally. <laughs> the city is an oyster. Um, wisdom, LSP. Let's, I propose, so I do also want to talk to all these people. I propose we do them in order. So we talk to the gang first, because if we're going to leave, we need uh, somebody to protect the bakery. We'll talk to Gam Gam, and then we'll go see Aelin, or would Aelin want to see Gam Gam? That's true. Maybe I, Aelin wants to talk to Gam Gam as well. I mean, we maybe we can bring it, bring him to her. Like, yeah, know, if 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 she needs help, and, yeah. and this person can provide it. I mean, yeah. I'm sure Gam Gam loves Gam Gam loves guests. She loves meeting new people. So, you know, yeah. Let's okay. go pick up this person. Let me go pack up your uh, pastries, and then you gotta pack the pastries. And then, um, and then we'll talk to the game real quick, and then go get Aelin. Cool. Okay. Um, and Tiny goes in the back and writes a lovely note to Gam Gam, and then uh, sticks it in the, the pastry thing, and then I will it guard up and these ties it. I will guard these pastries with my life, and I, and she really means that. <laughs> There's no doubt. I mean, Gam Gam's got to get her birthday gift, so yeah, I understand. Absolutely. Uh, I think it's um, 20 minutes later that you guys are in front of a street full of these two-story like row houses or townhouses. Like, they're similar to like a brownstone, except instead of being brick, they've got this white stucco exterior and the doors are all different pastel shades. Um, this still in, in Apodeme. A, a lot of the exteriors are partially covered in vines. 
Um, and one of them has a youngish looking um, dwarf with like a big crossbow looking real nervous, like as a lookout on the roof. Um, and and uh, we'll sort of fast forward through this a little bit. Um, you, you know, make careful introductions and explain that it's not like an attack or anything like that um, and are introduced to um, the leader of the Brave Wings uh, husband uh, who is this um, clean shaven human guy with um, black straight hair and brown glasses and he's got the you know they've all got the like dragonfly wing tattoos um, but long story short um, this uh, the leader's husband um, Biz tells you um, that um, uh, I think I think the actual leader of the gang's name is um, Tobin and that the leader who is a paladin and he has been missing um, he's sort of like the, the muscle of the gang mm. um, but that he has not been around and that their cleric and druid have been missing as well um, and they like it's such a significant reduction in the strength of the gang's like combat capabilities because these guys are all like he doesn't say high level fighters but he basically says like they are, they're very capable and, and in tune um, with their abilities and stuff and um, since they've been gone they've basically like withdrawn and stopped collecting um, protection money and are trying to like hide out and find these people and um Biz will offer you money if you can find them. Yeah, I'll go look for them. Do you have any idea who this gang is, though? This opposing gang that came in? What do you mean? They had like a little circle, like a little jewel circle. They came in my shop asking for money. Somebody's moving into our turf? Oh, that's yeah. super bad. Yeah. Um, hmm. I doesn't ring any bells to me, but I know somebody who might know. Um, there's Okay, so when it comes to people who have been around the city and its groups for a long time, oh, I don't know anybody who would be better than Bor Mira Mira. Just like the most badass, like that's old my gam -gam. timer. That, Pardon? That's my gam gam. Bor Mira Mira. I'm Mirish Moramira. That's that's my Gam Gam. You're telling me that your grandmother is the legendary. You're full of it. There's no way. No, that's. that's do, you, do I not resemble her? Okay, maybe not. I I resemble her like half. Come come on. Yeah, no, that's my Gam Gam. It's her birthday tomorrow. Gam Gam seems a lot more capable than you originally gave gave a uh, yeah. oh, my Gam Gam is a badass. I mean, yeah, you sound like Gam Gam is badass. <laughs> Look, She's, uh, like, I mean, really strong. If there's anybody who has an encyclopedic knowledge of all the groups in the city and has beaten people up from every single one of them, it would be her. I would like to I, employ I this be. Gam Gam. I, 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 I never thought to ask her. Well, let's go grab a hill and yeah, kick it. Ask yeah, let's, let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Um, Sweet. Yeah. Before, <laughs> uh, before Tanya leaves, she's like, she's like, I will go look for your missing people, because there's some other missing people as well, and then they head off. Yeah. It's kind of in both their best interest to help, help yeah. them out right. as well. So you guys are, are making your way through the city to Aelin's apartment now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Sweet. Um, yeah, there is a um, built into like the side of the exterior of the shell. There are like vertical rows of apartment buildings um, that are, um, you know, not the biggest, kind of cramped, kind of dirty, but um, yeah, you, you find your way there. I don't know. Did did uh, did Aelin tell somebody his address? Is that how you're tracking um, him down? When when I took Rory and Tonya to the museum, I probably had them to be nearby ish. Okay. Um, and and like if we got separated, this was like a safe place to come to. Um. You know, okay. sort of, sort of plan, planning and being the responsible adult and all of that. Yeah. So we don't know which door to like, um, go to. No, I think you'd probably know which bell to ring, but not like exactly where the window or, or you know whatever door it is and that chance. Okay. All right. Well, Alien, I guess I, I find the bell, and Alien said to ring this bell if we needed needed his help, right? Yeah, we kind of need him. Ring it. All right. And I, the bell yeah, sounds bell. awful, like they yeah. do in apartment buildings. <laughs> I, th I think it's calculated like... to be the worst. Yeah. And and I reckon probably two two or three floors up, the window opens and Aiden sticks his head out. <laughs> Hello. Uh, oh. Hi, sir. Hi, hey, Aiden. It's Hi. Rory and Tanya. I, I I can see that. I'll be down in a second. Give me a moment, kids. Okay, okay. okay. Shuts shuts the window and I, I guess Tanya after, rings like... the bell ten more times. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> um, and I can imagine like maybe a hundred, sixty to ninety seconds later, you hear sort of thundering down the 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 creaky stairs, and he sort of. He's he's got like a, a a notebook and he's got these awful glasses on, um, yeah. and he um, he opens the uh, the door. Ah, oh, what a pleasant surprise! Hi, what can I what can I do oh. you for? Yeah, oh, wow. hello. 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 Yeah, we um we had a little bit of a, a question for you, and we really couldn't think of anybody else we could ask. But there's there's something going on, and I think you're the person to know, maybe. Wait, none oh. of you told me about all of this. Like, sir, uh, we need your help, and I, I really appreciate you talking to us, but um, at, uh, have you... Do, um, do you own a mirror? Yes. I'm confident he owns oh, a mirror. Right. Aelin, can this, you set those is... fear shades on fire? At least set the shades on fire. Can I set the I'm shades not on fire? I'm not wearing these for the fashion. That I'm, I'm reading some lunar paper, and the light needs to be, like, really dim. And these things are the only things I've found that I can afford where I can actually see... Look, look, he sort of gives them to, to Tonya real quick. Look, look at this. You see, you see this? This is, this is like ancient draconic just here. Oh, no, sorry, it's this way around. Oh, ancient oh. draconic. Oh, see? okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and it's, yeah. It's sort of, it looks really cool with oh. that blue glow and stuff. Oh, so yeah, that's, that's really why cool. I'm using these. You know, that's so. all fair and good. Um, you know, you should teach me draconic sometime. I don't know anybody that I would sure. use that yeah. to talk to. Um, you know, I know draconic. We're gonna go shopping sometime. I, I've just met you. You seem great. We're gonna go shopping sometime. It'll be great. It'll be great. <laughs> One of your that, friends, I presume, Tonya Rory. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is uh, this is Mirish. Hi. Yeah, we, we just reconnected today, you, actually. Were you a were you a student at the school? I don't remember you in the lecture I gave last. Well, I mean, technically I was, but then I dropped out. I had, you know, better stuff to oh, do. I'm not fine, like... fine, no worries, no worries. Yeah. I'm not going to judge you for that. And our lady here? Hello. Hi. Hi. Who are you? I'm kind of hiding behind Mirish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, a Professor a Aylin. Aylin's, Aylin's probably... He's, he's fairly average-looking, sort of flowing... Um, brown hair, and he's got these sort of piercing green and green and blue eyes. Um, sort of central heterochromatic. They've got the green in the middle and blue on the outside. Um, and he's not the slightest bit like scary at all. <laughs> Honestly, you know, he's wearing a gaudy Hawaiian shirt and is looking a bit like a mad professor. Um, and that's that's his that's his general vibe most often. 
<laughs> yeah, uh, Alex he just doesn't uh, doesn't tend to like. It's not that he looks scary; it's that he's a person. Oh, um, Professor Aylin. Um... Hi. Oh, hello. You don't. You don't have to call me Professor. Please don't. It makes me feel a bit uncomfortable. Just, oh, just makes Aylin. Two Aylin's Aylin's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. this, this is Araxi. Araxi. This Araxi. Is Aylin. Hello. Um, Aylin, so have you have you heard anything about people disappearing or like a ringing of a bell? There, we've gotten some weird things that we've learned about today. Um, we we're hoping that you could help us figure this out. Sure, tell me more. What's going on? Well, um, actually, guys, do you want to come inside? Uh, real quick. Yeah, we I mean, we can, but. We should walk and talk. Yeah. We should walk and Sounds talk good. because we um, have to visit somebody who's hearing those noises. Right. Yeah. That, yeah. In that yeah. case, then, uh, stay here for 30 seconds. I will go up, grab a book, and come back down. Uh, okay. And I'm going to grab my pack as well because I have a feeling this is probably going to involve active investigation or something. Okay. So I'll be back in a second. And the Nayla moment. runs off. The moment Aelin leaves, Tanya starts ringing the doorbell again. <laughs> Tanya, stop it. Stop that. I, 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 I like the sound. I'm, and I'm like, I'm like trying to like push your hand away from the, okay. from the bell. <laughs> Marish, Marish turns to the group and is like, wait, but you all saw that though, right? That that really didn't match. Like, Oh yeah, no, no, no. That, he was actually bad. better dressed than the last time are, I saw him. Are we, you, are we cool with this? Believe it or not. Yeah, he's a, he's okay. a great guy. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um, he's and he's still wearing the Hawaiian shirt. He's he's gotten rid of the gotten rid of the <laughs> dreadful glasses. Um, and all oh, right, yeah, let's go. Yeah. So okay. So uh, my sister is hearing a bell sound that none of us can hear, but we we know that she's hearing it. Tanya is yeah, so. walking, yeah. walking along. And I, um, uh, 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 Mirish, why don't you? What, what's going on with your grandma, Gangan? Gang? Well, my, my, my grandma, she, this morning she was talking about that she also heard some sort of noise and some sort of buzz. And I'm, I'm not entirely sure it's the same thing, but it sounds, sounds kind of similar. I thought it was like a machine or whatever, but you know, she's at home. We can go check her out. Also, she's totally badass. She knows a lot. She can help us with stuff. Like, let's just oh, say hi. Cool. She'll offer sounds you good. some, some good. pie, some, some soup. She has a great fish wine that she ferments herself. Like you can all have some, it's really ah, good. It's orcish fish food, of course. Wine. Okay. It's really good. Yes, we love and, we love fish. And Adraxi's uh, cousin is missing. Is that? Is that and is they that right? were hearing the noise, and the noise made them feel happy. And we also have a paladin, a cleric, oh. and a druid from the Brave Wings missing. Yeah, so people oh, are going are they, missing. Would I know that they were the gang? I, I mean, I might do. If I I've think if not, I've in this case. Like yeah. that's 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 very locally relevant yeah, information. Yeah, like, like I, I, you know, in passing with with Tanya or, or something, mentioning mm, it, possibly. Okay, um, this is those are the those are the guys up the road from you, right? Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. There yeah. are protection. Extortion. Uh, oh. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, I know. No. <laughs> it's. It's, it's it's good. Okay. Uh, you said huh. the quiet part out loud. <laughs> <laughs> I said the rhetorical implied part out loud. Yes. Beans. Yes. Yes. That's it's just this. It's just that kind of city info. Um. Yeah. Yeah. So. I... Bells. Bells. Yeah. Yeah. And Am I, I going to need to roll for this? That's the next question I've got. I think you, you'll just need to keep asking questions. Yeah. What kind of bells? Sort of, as he's as he's walking along, he's sort of rubbing his rubbing his temple and and maybe sort of po poking his ear, fiddling with his hair and and cogitating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Tanya, you heard it the best. I uh, got a little bit of it, but what what kind of bells do you think? I, I'm, not, I'm not even sure. It wasn't really like any like the it wasn't like a church bell or anything. It was more of like. You know, like, creepy bells that are like, you know, like, a bell you might hear 
in like a play before a character enters into a catacomb or something. The sort the sort of bell that okay. your magic shenanigans would toll if you were trying to scare the crap out of someone. Yes, yes, it was uh, closer to that, but it was also it was it was weird. It was a weird time. Ooh. But she wasn't really it could scared be a of it, right? Few? Right, right, right. She was not scared if, of it at all. Yeah, they mm. uh, pe people are saying they feel calm with these bells. Ooh. When they, when they start, when they let it kind of, when they ignore it, they just kind of feel calm. Yeah. And that sounds kind of scary. <laughs> I have a question as well. What's a gam gam? Oh, it's it's my grandma. It's my oh, name for my grandma. Right, 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 yeah. right. Of course. I'm, also, I'm... I can't imagine my gam gam being scared of anything. So, I don't think a bell would do it. Right. Let's 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 talk to her then. Uh, keep. How far away are we? Uh, it's oh, gonna that's, take that's like you... an in character question as well sure. as an out of character question. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I mean, you guys would know, Mirror specifically, that, like, on foot with, like, the traffic in the city, there's, like, significant foot traffic as you move through the center of um, Daybreak City here uh, that it's going to take you, like, an hour. All right. It's about an hour, but, you know, if we, we keep up the pace, it'll be fine. We'll be right there. Sounds good. Head back to my apartment if you get lost, I guess. <laughs> I mean, oh, okay. I, I, I live there. I, I won't get lost. But thank you for the. Uh, no, I mean, just, just if we get separated or, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not like. I mean, not like lost, lost. I mean, like, anyway. You, you know what I mean. You know. Hopefully, we won't get separated. Indeed. Should we all hold hands? I'd rather not. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, put uh, I put a Raxi and Gail, uh, Aelin right next to each other. It's like, yes, hold hands. <laughs> Let's I'm hold going hands. To, I'm going to struggle to resist this. <laughs> uh, Roxy is also not keen on. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think we need to roll. I don't know that Tanya is physically capable of dragging <laughs> a rogue. And, uh, no, it's, I think we'll. I appreciate I appreciate the sen sen sentiment, uh, Tanya, but no, thank you. Can I hold your guys' hands? Uh, uh, I, I grab no. Tanya's hand, and I try to reach for, reach for for Rory, but Rory seemingly does not want to grab yeah, mine. I, I, I shrug it off. You, if you want to hold your, your hands, carry on. You can make guys. like a post athletics checks if you really want to try. <laughs> yes. Make a deck save. Duck out of the way. Deck save okay. against hand holding. <laughs> Oh, anyway. uh, actually, like, kind of duck, ducks away from from Tanya and uh, goes to uh, Mirish's other side. Um, Mirish, did did your Cam Cam spend time in the crease? Because that's like I mean, I, I... we live right on the edge, so like I venture in there every now and then. Um, I'm I'm sure she has. She definitely ventured in there a lot of times to come pick me up, if you know what I mean. But yeah, no. I, we don't live in the crease, but we, you know how it is. Every now and then. Yeah. I've been in the crease more than I wonder once. Wonder where she, uh, where she learned to make. Um, I mean, she must have been in the crease a lot to, to learn how to make fish wine. I honestly, she's been making fish wine for as long as I remember, so I'm not entirely sure where she picked that up. But it could be a crease thing. And I've never she seen it outside the, of the crease. She used to work at the dock, so I, my grandma has this weird obsession with fish. <laughs> you... Alexi stiffens a bit when you say weird obsession <laughs> with fish. <laughs> yes. Marriage is I mean, completely oblivious. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> it tends, tends to happen around, you know, big oceans and portside cities. <laughs> you know, you guys, uh, as you're seafood. walking, you might, like, be sort of stealing another extra, you know, more than one glance. Roxy has, like, you guys know... I think um, probably Mirish knows this best. It's not like you just see someone who is crease born around particularly often. Um, and it's a, it's kind of a matter of like degree to which someone could be considered crease born. Like there are people who were not born there, but have lived there for a long time and begin to be changed by whatever the essence of that place is 
Um, and then there are people like uh, Araxi who have like every, um, n nearly every attribute you would associate with it, which is like one of the things that's interesting, there's like a um, spiked ridge on the ears. Um, almost like if you've noticed like on the like edge of a crab's claw, the like little like mm -hmm. spines, it's like on, yeah. on ears. And, and the um, her face is like, uh, a gradient tone from like light to dark as described but it like starts here and like fades up across her face and then it like also is like down her even her well you know whatever you can see of her arms and stuff like that it's almost like a front back two-tone mm -hmm. thing so i realized that that uh Aroxy is creaseborn yes okay yes. um i i think yeah Marish would just be like, oh, and, but you're from the crease, you know, right? Know what? Oh, you know, you know, like, what the crease is like, and what happens if you're in the crease a lot, you know? What happens? It's just like, slowly nods. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know. What happens when you're in the crease a lot? I mean, like... It, it it affects you like it's not a bad thing but it's like it's very prominent but you know it's 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 difficult to explain really i have you ever been in the crease uh no i don't, I don't think i've been in the crease uh we did live near the crease though um before we moved with tanya we lived like much closer to it i think you lived in krennel actually we didn't name it before but that's definitely the neighborhood that you were staying in when it was just the two of you and probably yeah probably not too terribly far away from mirish although it's a very dense neighborhood it would not be strange to have never crossed paths mm -hmm. actually like slowly moves more into the center of the group and like puts puts her uh her her uh, collar up just tries to, to t draws as little attention as possible as she starts to really notice the, the looks and, and after that conversation as well. Oh. Um, I think Tanya would see this and be like, and just this, and just be like, I think you're beautiful. You just don't have anything to hide. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I freaking love the crease. I've been in the crease many times researching this place. Um, you're probably talking about the lingering magical effects from the deity the city was built out of. Quite exactly. The creature is all. It's still a mystery, at least to at least to the epitaxium and myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. I mean, I've been in the crease before. When were you in the crease? Yes, I know. I went to find you. That was the second time I was in the crease. The first time I was in the crease, I got my hair and my eye. Oh, I don't think you oh. ever told me that. A that lot of people. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people don't know because when I was a kid, I raved about it and a lot of other people made fun of me so um because i said the city was alive it talked to me that's ridiculous you rock that look that looks really thank good you. on you thank you so much it's my gift from the crease it's what i call it to myself in my head until now i mean it's a lot better than this shirt that's for sure it is i'm gonna just just yeah. so that you guys are, are yes. aware um at this this um like dark brown area on the map that we're looking at is these are like um shell and bone structures that protrude out above ground but like tucked back in here are all of the many hidden access points to an area that spaces out like as far back as the marble canal and even almost underneath apodeme which is considered the crease um, it's unmapped and considered unmappable. Um, but as you're walking into the neighborhood of Krennel, um, could I get a perception check from Tanya? Yeah. Do, 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 do. Where is my... Sorry, I popped out my character sheet. Oh no, she's not very perceptive. 
Yeah, don't worry oh, about no. it. no. Okay, great. <laughs> that makes me even more worried. <laughs> yeah, no, I... I, Taco, yeah. am very worried. <laughs> As we're oh, my moving... perception's Thanks, really Seth. good. As we're moving through, Aroxy's focus has shifted from the group more to, like... How much are we drawing attention as we move through? Is Aelin getting and, most and what, of the attention? And what kind of attention is it, is it like? I'll is, take an insight check. Is it hostile? Is it curious? Or perception. Maybe both. Sorry, I didn't hear the Can... first one. Oh, sorry. Insight. Give me, give me a perception and an insight to sort of see, like, what do you notice and, and do you understand what it means? Good perception. And I... Not good insight. Perception and insight as well. Keeping sure, my eyes and anybody ears who's open. doing this. Wait a second. Uh, anybody Binks, who's... I've, Binks is with me. Can I roll an extra perception check for Binks? Kitty. Yes. Binks. <laughs> sure. My wizard's familiar. Wow. Wow. I'm doing good today. Mirrors has got stats, yo. Um, uh, and and inside? Mm -hmm. Everybody's rolling poorly on insight. This is interesting. Yeah, so you guys are noticing people, but you aren't able to tell what it, any of it means. <laughs> oh, oh, That's basically oh, 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 at last. So, like, the rescue. <laughs> there are absolutely folks like looking at you. Okay. And yeah. uh, as you pass through, you can okay. see like. Um, so um the one the one thing that jumps out with the with the really good perception checks so anybody who rolled a 17 or better there um and i i don't think this would necessarily mean much to the people who rolled really well there is that there are a few people who have um like once you get into krennel who have uh, these um like blue uh crystal looking patches on their clothing um but again Nobody is like hostile or is addressing you, so it doesn't seem problematic. I'm just walking down the street, like greeting people, because clearly they're yeah. looking at me because of my outfit. I'm like, hi, hey, how you doing? Oh, I'll see you next week. You are week an entertainer thing, right? after all. Yeah, like I'm just mm -hmm. having Your a brand good time. skyrocketing, engagement <laughs> through the roof. Exactly. Getting that clap. <laughs> so is Rory able to kind of get an idea of what this attention actually is? yeah um so yeah with your role yeah the vibe here is definitely there's a little there's there's suspicion you don't look like you're from here necessarily um particularly Aelin. like you see people looking and they're that you've you've seen more than one person doing like the like case look of like can i roll this person and get their wallet or something like that um so you notice you notice some of that attention happening but again like there's a little bit you're you're sort of picking up on a little bit of like hostility but more like generalized towards outsiders rather than like something where people are yeah. really honing in on you yeah man i i also kind of grew up in this area too so i think it makes sense that like maybe i'm more used to seeing this or like i more expected this to happen as we move like deeper into the krennel more unwelcome than really hostile. Yeah. hostile. Yeah. Um, maybe it's weirdly more than I expected, but I'll, I'll like I'll start to like flash my sword at my at my hip as we're walking <laughs> to show that uh, you know don't mess with this kind of thing. And Leave us alone. So Marish has like high perception, right? But she doesn't un really understand why people are looking. So um, can I? make it so that I, like, Marish thinks that everybody's looking at Aelin because of the shirt, and, like, as she's, like, greeting people, so every now and then she throws in, like, an apology for the shirt. Like, hi, how, how are you doing? I'm, yes, I know, it's not the best choice. Hi, hi! <laughs> like, something like that. Um, I imagine Tanya doesn't, has not incited anything, but sees her cat noticing things, and is like, oh, uh, and then gets really self-conscious, like, oh, oh. And then starts doing the thing that um, Araxi was doing, which is just kind of like sinking into her clothing more, like, hey. Yeah, yeah we, um... It's mostly just walking 
his eyes open for the moment. Yeah. I he's, think he's it's used, around... He's used to this sort of attention. <laughs> yeah. I think it's it it around now that you um, find yourselves at uh, the Moramira residence. All right. This is where I live. Let's go up. Let's say hi to Gam Gam. I'm sure she'll like make you something tasty. Just come on. Let's go. Let's have a good I'm time. I'm so right. excited to meet this woman. <laughs> Tanya like, is like the first to go in right behind me. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I kind of go in last and let everybody else go and I look around as uh, we're going in to make sure nobody is like, looks like they want to approach us or anything. You know, just do like the, the safety check. Yeah. And I'm just coming in and going like, Gam Gam, hi, brought friends. Put up, take out the wine. Stuff like that. Uh huh. Yeah, you come in and you say that. Where's your Gam Gam? I mean, she should be here. Is she not here? She doesn't. Wait, so you am I, am I, she's not in the. In the you you in enter the, your. Uh, was it like a, an apartment or a house? Uh, like an apartment. It's very small. Yeah, I think the door I that you usually go in is, is through the kitchen. Yeah. Uh, she's not in the kitchen, which is like this really, you know, narrow galley narrow, kitchen. Yeah. And you poke your head into the living room where she usually would be in her chair. Yeah. And she's not in there. And she's okay. not in her bedroom. Odd. Um, she's usually around here at this time. And like, I, I check everywhere and she's just not in the in the apartment, I'm assuming. Yeah. Um, coming right. in last, Maybe Rory, you noticed that there was a note on the back of the door when you oh. shut it behind you. Okay. And it just says, I will find peace with the crystal hearts in the crease. Uh, Mirish, did, did you see this note coming in? Um, uh, what note? I, uh, you might want to look at this. This is kind of freaking me out. And yeah, I, 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 yeah, yeah, I take the note. <laughs> is it is it in her handwriting? Do I yes. recognize it as her? Okay. Wait, what? Did, did somebody leave this note here? It's. I mean, it's it's my Gam Gam's handwriting, but I, I don't understand what it means. It's... Tanya, can I get another perception check? Yep. That's not good. But let's. Uh, can uh, can I roll with advantage for Makiti? No, because you're not trying to do anything right now. Okay. This is just whether you notice something. Don't worry about it. That's yeah, not a big deal. No. Rick. Cam cam. <laughs> um. Uh, do you know where where would your gam cam have gone? Do you think? I mean, like she hangs out at the at a tavern near the docks often. Like sometimes she's helped wing them out with like some small bar stuff. But I'm not even sure it's open at this hour. Like, and what does this note mean? She would never do this. She would never yeah. just leave with Aelin, something so cryptic as this. On. Yeah, a Aelin, um, do you know Hello? anything about crystal hearts? C come look at this. Come look at this uh, note sure. we just got. Let's have a look. Yeah, let's have a look. I hand it over. And so I Aylin, may Aylin, know Aylin something takes a look at about it. a crystal heart. Uh, really? Uh, yeah. Um, oh. So, well, I guess, um, LSP, do, do I know that this is, like, directly uh, attached to the tree I saw when I was a kid? The sim The description sounds similar. Okay. But na people name things different shit all the time. That's true. Um, well, when I was a kid and I tell them this story and then I tell them about the crystal heart that the tree had and that the gang people that came in were sporting a very similar heart on their clothes. Ah, um, I've got an idea. Uh, diap diapasins, diap diapasins. They are um bells that ring forever, allegedly, and bring bells. peace. Um, they're uh, they're a broken, broken uh diapasins. 
that I've encountered before uh, in temples in the crease. What happens when they're active? I don't know. You bring peace. Mm hmm. Can I go outside to see if there is anybody around that might have seen Gam Gam come out and see where she walked off to? Are you going to go ask around? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, roll me a check for that. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, probably Persuasion? investigation. Uh, but your 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 cat can help you. Yes. Advantage. Boom. Ooh. Dirty twenty. Um, yeah, noise. Dirty twenty. I love that term. I just heard that recently. I love that to describe <laughs> a non-natural. Uh, I like that too. Yeah. Um. So, especially with Banks's help. Um, and, and people are just more inclined to like talk to you and be friendly with this, uh, you know, cute little kitty with you. Um, and uh, yeah, some as, after asking a few people, some are like, ah, yeah, it was actually like pretty recently. Um, she was, you know, everybody, everybody uh, knows Boar. And uh, she's beloved, and um, she seemed she seemed like she was like, pretty happy. She's I saw her walking like kind of north northwest, just up that street that way. Um, maybe like three hours ago. Where what does uh, northwest go to? Again, sorry. You're here. Northwest is towards. There's not much more northwest before you run into the city's essentially back wall, which has, um, you know, it's got like different foramen, foramina. I don't remember what the plural form of that word is, but different like tubes and also like stairways up to like Klingsley and and some people like live kind of in the walls, as well. Okay. Um, but yeah, there's not much farther you go before you run out of Northwest from the from Krennel. We're still inside, right? I, I, like, we don't hear that. It's just Tanya who went outside and asked around. I think so. Oh, okay. Um, Tanya, um, Tanya uh, runs back up to where she's like 30 feet away from like somebody she can see and like whoever's near a window and says, and says we gotta go north, uh, east? Northeast? West. Northwest. <laughs> We gotta Wait. go northwest. Wait, before we go, and I turn to Rory, if this has to, anything to do with the noises, if this is the same thing that your sister is hearing, maybe you want to go check in on your sister. I'm not that worried about my grandma. She's strong, but what about yeah, your she, sister? Yeah, she was hearing this noise too. I. So what do you do? You think well? Do you think it's like leading people there or? Why did you? Beats me. Possibly. T Tanya, Tanya goes I can only up speculate. the stairs. Okay. And Tanya, Tanya's... what? Oh, she goes up the stairs after nobody comes down. Hmm. She's trying to be lazy. <laughs> Tanya, how far can you reach with your mental ability? Could you? 30 feet is too. Navin's too far away from us. Oh, yeah. But... Okay. But if. If Nevin is hearing the bell and she's going, I imagine she's going to go where Gam Gam's going. Right, which we, well, we know kind of where that might be. But if if Nevin is still there, maybe she, Nevin can take us to where Gam Gam is. What time, uh, how, how far away is, uh, is Nevin? How far away is like the bakery? Yeah. From you? At a normal walking pace, like forty-five minutes. Okay. What if I so, book it? Are there how, phones? How far does Tanya need to walk to get into the distance where she can connect? Thirty feet. Yeah, it's not very far at all. I mean, yeah, yeah she she needs close. to walk 40, 40, yeah. 44 40 and a half minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
All right, no, that doesn't. If you're work. running, you could cut that time down to like a third. And you, being the athlete that you are, you could definitely just run the entire way, not at like a sprint, but like at a fast jog. Yeah. Why don't Why don't I run back and and check on Yevin? And if she's like, I mean, hopefully she's still there. And if she's still there, we can. Uh, I don't know. Get, should we try to take her? Like, I don't want to get involved her in this though. I think she's already involved, dude. Uh, we yeah, don't have much choice. Okay. That's what um, I'm thinking. Right, so looks like we've got some people to rescue. <sighs> Bloody good thing I bought my bag. It's a good thing I'm not hearing the bell. I wonder why I'm not hearing the bell. This is weird. Yeah, what, what's the difference between... Yeah, like, why are some people hearing and not other people aren't? Can I roll Arcana to see, to see, if, like, if I can figure out why I'm not hearing the bell? Yeah, give me an Arcana check. Why not? So, I guess, so the question is, have you explained, like, everything you know as much as you can to, to Aelin? At this point, yes, I think so. Okay. Um, one thing that might stick out to you, since you rolled real well, Aelin, is that everybody who you have heard some kind of, um, with, with maybe the exception of Boar and Nieven... And you don't really know much about this um, cousin, mm. but the people you have heard any th description of like their attributes are all people who wield divine magic. Ah, divinity. It's got to be a temple. Then. But I say got to, that's what that's what my strongest hypothesis is. That's a real tongue twister, isn't it? Hypothesis is. Hi, hi. Theory. We'll go with theory. It's not a theory, but it'll do. Okay, so... But one of them missing is a druid. Is and, it, mm, doesn't Nevin do druid things? I, uh... I mean, yeah, Nevin... I, I don't... We have some kind of commonality, then. Does your grandmother... Yeah, is your grandmother a cleric, priest, uh, particularly devout? Um, does she call upon the power of deities to assist with her strongness? You know? I think that you're realizing, Mirish, that your your grandma has kind of kept you in the dark about some yeah, things like, in her life. My grandma <laughs> is not magical. My grandma knows how to, how to swing a club harder than anybody else you know she'll chop wood at this you know quicker than anybody ever could she could haul a ship by hand but she's never wielded any kind of magic does i think she, she probably has the wood, does it seem to have a divine smite that happens and the wood splinters off into a billion no, little pieces no this it, it, it can't no my it can't be no give me sounds epic um, he is. <laughs> I'm starting to think she might. All right. Um, I don't think there's much that we can. <sighs> okay, Rory, how quickly can you get back to your sister? You can do um, that fast. I can. Then... I, off, I've run as, I can run as fast as I can. I think I can get there like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. Do it. All right. I'll just, uh, I'll just start running. <laughs> I'll, let me go with you. So we don't, we're not completely alone. Uh, I'll, yeah. If you can okay. keep up. If you can keep up, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run the whole time. Are you, are you be okay? Rory is, Rory is pretty swift. I've seen him in action before. He's, he's a lot quicker than he looks. He looks like a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a huge wow. nerd. <laughs> oh, Rory's cool. Rory cool. thinks Rory's I, cool. His name I, is Edge <laughs> once. <laughs> My name is Edge once. I'm I'm Edge and I'm working. <laughs> if you're yeah, so you guys are running. Uh Roxy, give me just an athletics check just to see um if you do slow anyone down. Oh, you're using your <laughs> armor to increase your speed. That's yeah. what oh. you're saying. So that's helping. Let's get an athletics check anyway. Oh boy. Um oh oh oh. 
Uh, I am a hundred percent. Hang on. Uh, let me find the description. Um, is that it now? No. Okay. I'm going to use a charge of my armor of magical strength to change the check to be intelligence instead of strength based. Hell yeah. I don't <laughs> understand, but that sounds correct. That's so cool. <laughs> Excellent. You run so smart. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like the kind of thing where like you're putting your foot footsteps like in the right place to like get you the perfect like push off from the ground. Those, it's like that anime thing where it goes into flat your head and you're like if I angle my muscle. No, yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 no. Legitimately it's the armor doing the work instead of me. Like it's power yeah. armor. Gotcha. <laughs> Let's go. Um, you guys so are at the bakery uh, quickly, and um, it smells great. Mm. Nevin's outside, uh, oh. still wearing what she woke up in, like t-shirt and uh, you know pajama pants, and she's That's sort of just market. looking at you in the direction that you came from. Ne Nevin, Nevin, what are you doing out here? What? Hmm? Are you are you okay? Can I, I, I start to shake her. Like Nevin, Nevin. Hey, Roar. What what are you doing? Mom, good. No, what are you doing? Why are you out here? Nevin, are, are you okay? Whoa. Uh, yeah. Whoa. Hey, why, why am I not wearing shoes? Yeah, I hey, don't know. What's going yeah, on? Roar? I just found you out here. Look, Nevin, I, uh, we, we might know what's happening. We might have an, or an idea what's happening with the bell. Um, are you still hearing it? Yeah. Think, think about oh, the bell. Yeah, it's oh, annoying when you bring it up. It's just ringing. It's just okay. ringing. Okay, don't keep thinking about it. Keep thinking about it. Um, okay. I, oh. I hate to ask this of you, but do you, do you mind coming with us? We're we're gonna track down where that bell is coming from. Is that a good idea? <sighs> Probably not, but there are some people missing, and you might be able to help us figure out where they are. You, uh, okay, what do we? Shoes. What do yeah, we you do? Might wanna, uh, well, you need to get dressed first of all. Okay. Yeah, she yeah. totters upstairs. <sighs> I, I'm really glad she's she's okay. She's still here. I was. I was really worried uh, that she'd be gone, and uh, I, I, I don't know what I'd do. Anoxie's looking back the way they came, um, just like from her her knowledge of, I mean, not that she has a lot of knowledge of the area, but like having just passed through it. Um, what is back that way? I mean, you know the ins and outs of that part of the city pretty well. Um, I mean, the specific area that you're in, not so much, but like, you know, you could, you know, like a half dozen ways to um, find your way beneath the city in this, in this part of town, um, well, in the part of town that you just came from, Krennel specifically, like there are, uh, if, if you want to, you know, go far away from the sun and beneath the city from there you'd know your way around fairly well but you also know that like to go too deep into the crease like navigation eventually becomes futile no matter how um no matter how often you've been there unless you like have like really detailed um people will like make written instructions for themselves to find like one specific place and just go to and from that one spot type thing mm hmm it's like borderline not Euclidean. Like, just right. the connections wow. sometimes don't make sense. Okay. Um, okay, I'm good to go. Uh, Nevin comes downstairs. She's got, like, jeans with, like, cool holes in the knees and, like, a <laughs> t-shirt from a band. Nice. Nice. I'm not going to music to play here. Yeah. I don't know. 
Yeah. That'd be a fun conversation to have. <laughs> it really uh, was. Good point. Okay. Yeah, the others. Um, yeah. And yeah, Ox is going to take point in, like, trying to get us back to where the others are faster. Okay. Um, um, I mean, like, not running, but, like, just... Yeah, we probably can't go all, back as All fast. the right side streets. Yeah. I think Nevin's got these, like, um... These, like, arm... She's got, like, some armor that she made. It's out of, like, bark and stuff on, like, her, like, forearms. Oh. And, and, uh, and maybe, like, some, like, shoulder pads that are, like, stone and, and bark and, like, tied together with leaves. She's, like, adjusting it and, like, kind of hustling. Yeah, here, you guys. Nevin, Nevin, grab my hand. I don't want to... I don't lose you. Ew, weird, no. No, no Nevin. Okay. Nevin, okay, they run in front You're of me. so weird, Roar. <laughs> no, ne there's something seriously like going 17. on. Dude, come on. <laughs> Not Fine, holding your hand. Run in there front of me. There are so many people around. <laughs> run in front of me. I just, I need to make sure you're okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, you guys make your way back to uh, to Colonel to the rest of the party. Um, it seems like um, Mirish is um, going through uh, her her grandma's stuff, but um, yeah, the, everybody's everybody's waiting for you, and uh, the, the whole gang is here. Okay, so the good news um, is, Nevin is like, safe. this is worse. <laughs> Wait, what it's is, worse here. You hear the like, when I is. think about it, it's louder. It's more intense. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can't remember your name exactly. Hi, I'm Aelin. I might have yeah, taught a class at your school. Yeah, you hello. did. You did so good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, yes, we think that there is somebody or something has activated an ancient artifact in one of the temples that's causing you as a paladin or druid or something or a priest am i in the rough sort of area here i mean it's never anything i had like, a bunch of training in but sure i can do nature stuff right figured yeah, um I yeah fight. those people can hear this this artifact um and we're gonna see what that's all about and hopefully try and figure out if it's dangerous and if it is put a stop to it but also get rid of the annoying ringing in your ears. That sounds good. What's also, the plan? Right. We just um, follow the noise. Pretty much. Um, I know. Uh, I, I know the first ooh, few hundred yards into the crease around this sort of area. Uh, Raxi, you know. Don't worry. I better. I know a bit of the crease. I okay. I, wonderful. I can wonderful. Navigate. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have to rely on you, Yevin, to uh, to guide us once we're in there because you're good. the only one who could hear it, hear the bells. All right, is it time to go? Yes. You guys head. I'm swatting a bug away from him. Yeah. Um. Yes. Before we go, I I take Tanya's pastries with the note and I put it on my gam gam seat, mm -hmm. in case she returns. Don't worry. Like, we'll, we'll maybe, find your gam gam. Maybe she just so went out okay. to visit like with a friend. Yeah, yeah. Maybe she's I'm, not even part of this. Maybe that friend. I mean, great. she's really strong. I, I shouldn't worry. She, of course, she'll be fine. It, let's just go. Well, let's go and find her. So you guys head back into the city's depths. You know, a few more blocks through Krenel as the city continues to get darker. It gets more misty and humid, too. Krennel is this way all the time, but when you get back towards the very back of the city, um, even more, there is no no light from the sun. Um, it's, it's neon signs and yellow street lights that are the only illumination. And um, yeah, there's occasionally like drips that come down from above, um, from like the increasingly close and claustrophobic um, shell nacreous ceiling um, and and, it, and as you walk through like there's like the ridged surfaces of the city that like will catch the different lights as you move and and sort of like these these strange um, patterns that are created and reflected um, through the fog 
and around you. And you enter into uh, the crease. Things get much quieter. And now, regardless of how bad your perception checks are, Tanya, you begin to hear yourself this sound that's been described to you. And it's, you recognize it from when you were connected once to Nieven, but you don't have to connect to her to hear this increasingly difficult to ignore tone and it's clear and it's persistent and it just fills up every sort of subconscious space for thought anything that you're not actively thinking about you don't have it's just it's just always there always you're always just noticing it or not noticing it um, I was I had a whole I had a whole thing planned about like skills you were going to have to use to find your way and it didn't occur to me that you might bring somebody with you who is already being drawn in this direction. So um, <laughs> that's tremendous. That's great thinking. And uh, so I think you can you can bypass any like need for navigation, although I think that um, from time to time Araxi specifically, you'll be able to and and mirish to some extent as well you'll be able to like redirect like if there's more than one path you'll be like i know that this one is going to be easier or safer it's not just you know better than just knowing the direction to go you guys can help pick routes and stuff that um eventually Aylan is taking <laughs> on everything regarding navigation and direction in case they have to book it and the tunnels here are, uh, there are still occasionally like man-made um, elements here because the, you know that this is not just, it's not just a god, it's a city and it's been a city for a long, long time. And so there are handholds, sometimes there are constructed stone walls, sometimes there is like hand-carved passages in the shell, but sometimes it's entirely smooth and natural seemingly. Some of it's created by water flowing some spaces are just smashed and broken and you have to like scuttle down these increasingly dark um like slopes always heading down always heading north um and it's pitch black are you guys doing anything for light dark I'm vision. Not. That is some of you guys have dark vision yeah, uh, yeah me, I, I know. I think I've got. There are two humans with you. Elmy, <laughs> Dame. Um, I mean, I didn't take the light cantrip. I can, uh, I can cast bonfire, <laughs> and I can move that around <laughs> as we need to. I think that's probably the only light source we've got. Check my yeah. equipment. Also, question at low speed, does um, Tanya's going to be looking for, Ooh. now that she hears the bell, she's going to be looking for, like, blood marks along the wall that she might have made when she was a kid. Okay, so you're keeping an eye out for that. Yeah. Good. They would have lasted a long time then, right? Yeah, it's but, I mean... It depends if it years. gets any, yeah, it gets but, any, no. any water or anything. I have torches, actually, with me. No, I should are you... have Here, can I, can I up? get one of those? I, uh... Oh, yeah, absolutely. Very dark here. Help, help, Thank you. Self, help yourself, help yourself. Araxi, I think you and Mirish both kind of cringe a little bit at the sudden light that yeah. you really need. Uh, Araxi, no. Araxi moves it. Um... Oh. Oh, oh hey, hey. Later, um, take, okay. take these. That might help. <laughs> He's handing you cool glasses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do not put those on. Trust Please me. Don't. Please no. don't. They'll look hideous, yeah, but they'll help the your edge eyes. Of the, to the edge of the light. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same. It's, it's, Tanya's um, just going to position herself between the two torches. Um, 
it's funny because like not long after um, you strike these torches, sort of following in the direction that now, Tanya, you can lead as well as this becomes more and more obvious and apparent, the ringing to you, um, you start to see lights again. Um, there are like sconces and uh, and 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 lights built into and in the wall in different places, and you know. Araxi, that it's not uncommon for people to like band together into collectives or small, you know, conclaves in the crease. Sometimes they're real organized and purposeful. Sort of depends on who's leading them. Sometimes they're just like an agreement not to steal from each other while you sleep in the same place. Sort of big range of possibilities. Sometimes when people work together, like farm pearls or guano or mushrooms or spider silk. Uh, and sometimes it's just, yeah, like a camp for survival. You guys walk into a, you walk, you walk through a, um, through a like wide open space and then into a narrow tunnel that has a couple people sitting in it. Is the tunnel man-made? If so, do I recognize the architecture? Oh man, you've got that feet, don't you? Mm -hmm. You're gonna make me look stuff up. <laughs> I've got my I've got my notes actually about the about the history of the place. Um, yeah, I do. Son of a bitch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is this is revenge for uh, for me making you look stuff up, isn't it? <laughs> no. This no, is for every time not. somebody asked you a uh, NPC's name in Empire. <laughs> oh goodness. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, researcher. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You would think that this well, think is... Yeah. It's not that, but anyway. Um... From what you've... read... Mm -hmm. and what you know, this is... It looks this. like architecture from, like, early, early Caesarean dynasty era, but not Caesarean dynasty culture. So I just yeah. use that as, like, a marker point to say that it's, like, 2,000 yeah. years old-ish. Yeah. Um, so if it's early Caesarean, that's, that's like, some years. Yeah. Um, what was the language they would um there were lots of them um probably like old scralic ah. depending on like based on the region yeah okay cool speak low scralic so we'll i think we might lead with that if we need to say hello to these people mm -hmm. um so so Aelin's gonna yeah, there are so yeah. What you'll see as you round this corner in the tunnel is there's just like a couple of people sitting on the ground with their like backs against a wall. Yeah. Uh, hey. come, uh, uh, tidings. Um, in low Skralik, uh, uh -huh. tidings, friends. You see these people like look over at you. They look like dwarves. Um. Okay. And they just wave. Hey. Oh, hello. Um, Come in. Hi. Have uh, Have you seen a giant orc lady pass through this way? That doesn't sound important. Peace from love. Oh, thank you. Peace from love. Tanya's gonna cast detect thoughts. Okay. What um, does Detect Thoughts do? I'm going to have to read it because I failed. I failed you all and I didn't actually add it to my character sheet. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So That's okay. For, Google exists. Yes. Oh. No, I, I, I have it pulled up already. Uh, for the duration, you can read thoughts of certain creatures. When you cast a spell as your action each turn uh, until the spell ends, you can focus your mind on any one creature you can see within 30 feet of you. If the creature you choose has an intelligence of three or lower, it doesn't speak any language, so the creature's ineffective. You initially learn the surface thoughts of the creature, what 
is most on its mind at the moment as an action you can either shift your attention to another creature's or thoughts aha thank you cool 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 yeah. has it. so um, you read oh, you you focus in on these two folks and yeah yeah you can like for the duration here um start to drill deeper into people's people's minds but the surface thoughts of these people are absent okay i am gonna try to go deeper into one of their minds so they need to make a intelligence save uh make an intelligence check contested by your intelligence check so i need to roll an intelligence check okay 15. yeah you can drill into one of these um dwarves mind and um as you probe deeper, um, you start to get some insight. Um, they are emotionally like feeling at utter peace. And, and just like the idea that like the sense that you get is like a soothing of pain, like a, like a distant memory of something bad and just the relief of that being taken away. And, um, when you sort of dig into like their intention intentions and like what they are concretely focusing on it's just like it's finally i'm finally like free of pain and i've found what i need as long as they let me keep drinking from the pool okay. and it should be my turn again soon and i'm I so happy about that Marish squats down in front of these people and is like, hey, listen, I see this whole thing you have going on here. It looks very comfy. And like, this is really, I, I love this for you, but I really need some help. I need to find my gam gam. And I feel like you know more than you let on. And just, could you tell me anything? I put a hand you on You see Marish. that they have like, um, in their face, these like blue, like, have you seen like, like crystals that grow like, like, dendrite like coral and trees and stuff like that they've got some of that like growing on their skin like coming out of their hair onto their face and they both look at you and they're like that's cool you seem <sighs> like you could use to like relax you should I like snap my a a fingers a around a them Aylin like sort of pats mirish on the back that they're, they're high on something I think, I think how yeah, uh, she gets up. What's how's my sister looking right now? Um, she looks like she's like in some significant distress. Okay. Um, she's been like squeezing her eyes shut and like holding her head and kind of like shaking it and stuff. And she looks like she's, you know, not having a great time. I I, I put my shoulder my hand on her shoulder and just kind of give her a squeeze. I'm like, hey, you, you doing okay? You hanging in there? Sucks, Roar. I know. I'm sorry. Just hey, uh, you yeah, need me I'll, to. I'll 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 buy you some buy you some pastries. Yeah, the dude. I live in a bakery. <laughs> oh, have you have you moved into the bakery? Yeah. Why not? What, good idea. Let's distract. Um. Yeah. We we right. Uh, Nevin, how has the bakery been? We we moved in with Tanya. And well, she guys, can start talking to her and yeah, it's yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. And she does seem to like take her mind off of the bell in a way that she appreciates. Uh, Taco, did Tanya share that she's also hearing the the bell? No. Okay. No. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I'm trying to ID what those growths are. Okay, if that's the correct um, role for it. They're fashion. The that talking. would be, yeah. I mean, it is not like there are recorded instances. And I think what you're suspecting is that these are some sort of um, arcane side effect of something that's mm. going on there. You, you've never seen anything specifically like this, but like there are recorded instances of like arcane side effects changing someone's physical appearance yeah so this is a lot like the arcane side effects of the crease itself 
but not the same side effects. Yeah, there seems it, it, that parallel does does sort of ring true. Hmm. Tanya, uh, you wander off. Where are yeah. you heading? Tanya's heading towards the bell, but like, as people are talking to Nevin and other, like, other people, she just starts walking more towards the bell. Yeah, down this tunnel. That's... Do we see did it, you... or...? Yeah, do we notice this happen? Sure. Uh, follow. Tanya, follow. Tanya, where are you going? Let's go. Okay, yeah, yeah. Tanya, where are you going? She doesn't respond. All right, we need to follow Tanya. Yeah, uh, well, okay. while you all were, like, talking to and examining these dwarves, Alexia was definitely, like, again, at the edge of the torchlight at the far end past them, like, peering ahead as well. So, like, Tanya, I assume, move, starts to move past her as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is Tanya in the dark now? Like, out of the torchlight? She's ahead. So strangely, uh, you're walking went. into a brighter area, Tanya, and you okay. emerge into a small, like, cavern. Again, the walls are pearly. Um, there are, uh, there is like a, a little, um, commune here. Huts and houses. Um, some of them seem old. Some of them seem newer kind of organized there are like campfires and like open pits a couple of like confused looking goats in a little fenced off area and people um sort of hanging out they notice you and they smile They're like hey i'm going to cast in. disguise self on myself so i can look a little less distracting i dare um, so there's nothing in this room that's like no pool of water, no bell. Is this like the end? I mean, so there are definitely the 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 crease seems like you can always find a way to go deeper, and this is no exception. There are, you know what? I don't think I uploaded it, but I do have a picture of this space. I could, uh, I should have added it and been, you know, prepped. That doesn't sound like me at all. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay. Um, add art thing. Drag over. Upload. Dupe. Choose. Uploaded. New map thing. Created a blank for you. My hero. Um... Could you? I can do this. I want to go over and pet a goat. You may. <laughs> or at least successfully. Roll for goat. Roll for goats. <laughs> okay, this is not the. Um... Oh no. <laughs> a goat bites your hand off. Uh, you, died. you did bad. <laughs> good I did bad. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is sort of a general layout here, and I know it's not. Um, yeah, you guys we... are entering from right where you pinged there, uh, and these are all little buildings. And then it tends, to, it goes actually like lower down uh, again to like a lower half of the um, of this cavern over here, and then there are even like deeper places to go the most remarkable building is this one because it has a line of people um standing up out the side of the front door and is 100 percent the direction that the ring is coming from now i'm gonna go towards that one okay is, is she still ahead all... of us yeah we like have to catch up right oh yeah i'm absolutely following i i i try to catch up with tanya um and I say like, hey, no, no rushing ahead, right? We're not losing each other. Do you want to hold hands again? We can hold hands. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Sorry. Uh. Yeah. Let's hold hands. And uh, Tanya holds Marish's hand. Yeah. And I kind of like once again gesture for somebody else to take my hand to the back. I'm not sure if anybody does, <laughs> but I, 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 I on a hand holding, holding trade. <laughs> 
I hey, do hey, grab your hand this time. Ah, okay, and I still hey, have a hand on. Where is little train? Uh, <laughs> around for, Lex, for either Lexi or what she's heard uh, <laughs> described for Boar. Um, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I think weirdly... Well... Give me a perception check. Uh, you haven't seen Lexi in a minute. Um, you know, distant cousin situation, lives with her uncle up in Clingsley, don't get up there all that often. Uh, you clock her immediately. Um, Creaseborn, uh, standing in this very orderly queue outside the front door of this church-like building right here. Um, and she has like a very nice, simple, like white cotton robe with like a blue um, sewn in um, circle on the back. And she's standing there in, in line. Le Le Lexi, Lexi, um, hey. Oh, hey. Yeah. Oh, Roxy, how are you doing? Um. I'm I'm fine. Uh, how are you doing? Uh, Sarah's been Uncle Sarah's been worried. Uh, kind of just. Oh, he should come down here. It's so nice. Y yeah, what's nice about it? Just everything's pretty good. It, you... I'm glad to see you. Yeah, it's it's been a while. You you've been down here a while, or uh. Hmm. Probably. Um, what, what, what are you, uh, what are you waiting for here? Oh, it's almost my turn to drink from the pool. Uh, uh. yeah, have, what's, uh, like, just, is it the, what, is it that the only water down here? I mean, it's like the only water you need, you know? This uh, this temple is, is tall. Um, it's got like a collapsed wall around the left side of it. You can see there's like a big, um, like th this black area, th like this sort of cave area ends in a like drop into a void chasm. Um, which is not super uncommon. It's something to look out for in the crease is that sometimes the floor drops away into question mark depth and that happens over in this in this part of the How cave be? once mm. once we're done with this Aelin is totally dropping a stone and listening for a splash <laughs> nice <laughs> uh, Tanya I think just moves past all the people in line and to goes to and goes to like inside you're just pushing past people a couple of them are like hey man Lame. No cutsies. <laughs> I, lame. It is really lame of me to do this. And then I just go in. Uh, I, I'm still we... holding her hat. I'm kind of pulling back. I don't really want to go in. Yeah, I'm also, pulling back too. You're being like, restrained we're now we're, from now doing we're this, Now we're a pulling train. <laughs> I, I want to go, so I guess I'll make it a post-athletics check. Is that going to go well for me? <laughs> you can use acrobatics. To escape a grapple, too. It's it's either, and they're opposed against athletics. I uh, like see like while she's in like in line with Lexi, just puts on her her helmet and covers your body with like a yeah. glow, and then the armor. Uh, roll uh, athletics with advantage because you're being helped, Mirish. Oh, I'm being helped. Uh. Athletics with advantage. Uh, oh, oh, You're not going anywhere. So you're really doing a good job to like be squirmy and pull we're, away. We're basically just you're wiggling and I'm just like snaking it up with you. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go see what's in there. Hold on, Tanya. Yeah, just, just we're gonna go hold together. on a second. Come on. 
Just yeah. let's, I, let's wait. Let's talk this through. It looks at Can you, I figure Rory, out what these guys like, I don't want to go in there. I don't want to be here. I, I'll be honest. I don't want you to go in there either. Um, are you? I don't want to leave you out here alone. How are you feeling? Um, are, you, are you feeling like you want to go in? You don't want to go in there. That's actually good. That's actually really good. I'm glad to hear you don't want to go in there. Um, don't go in there. How about that? How does that sound? Yeah, Rory, maybe you should stay out here with your sister or... Yes, Honestly, I think Rory. we should all stay out here. I don't, I, I don't want to go I in there. I have a sneaky yeah, I... suspicion. I'm... Some of us are going to need to. Um, let me rack my brains. I'd like to roll Arcana. See... Try and figure out what the hell is going on, and more specifically, how I can put a stop to it, if there is a way. I don't know that there's much more that Arcana would get you, um, because I, th I think you can put the pieces together that yeah, or maybe something... history. Yeah, you can go ahead and roll it. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I think I think you can put together the fact that like something about the sound does pull people here. Yeah. And something in this temple space is something that people want to drink. You think it matches the description of these, um, you know, divine items that you've known that like are like peace bringing relics. Yeah, the uh, diapason. Yes. Any historical sort of um... oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, man. Any any historical events Precedent. that have been kind of similar. Yeah. I think, oof, I mean, there is specifically, um, a, like, a, a, a war that you can remember once upon a time involving, um, and, and, and the name escapes you at the moment, but like a Goliath general who like led like a spiritual um renaissance uh revolution among his people and that like they suspected and it was almost like a slander um that his enemies and opponents used that he was using a diapason to like control and influence his followers um this would have been in like the chalk wall basin far to the north but um, oh, crikey, it was, yeah it, it was something that's, that's that you, a long time ago yeah it was you know one of the things where like the records that say he did have a diapason and used it to control people mm. but the records were written by the armies that defeated him yes um so records of dubious quality yes i um, think tanya is, turned to to Mirish and says, if we want to stop what's happening, we have to go in. All right, yeah. but before we go, we need to figure out what to do with Nevin. We can't, we can't, we, we can't put her in this place. Hugs. I mean, Nevin, I, I, I want to say, like, Trish promises not to wander off, but it seems like this is drawing people to do weird things. Can we you just, like... To, you good to stay with Nevin for the moment, Rory? I can, but... Are you guys not going to need me? Like, I, got, I don't know. I'm also afraid, Maybe, like, what's going to happen there. Right now, uh, your sister needs you the most. Okay. You're right. You're right. Nevin, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll be here with you. Okay. This is we'll freaking me out. If me something happens. Okay. Okay. Anything I can do to help Nevin at all, as as my as my roguish self, probably not. I don't have any ideas for you. If you do, I'm uh, all ears. Yeah, let me let me 
skills and equipment. Raxi, what is it? Question for LSP. Please. How quickly is the line moving? Uh, they're letting like one person in every minute. Okay. So, um, yeah. Lexi's place is, is like, she's, you, you're getting closer and closer to this, um, door. It's like a stairs up to where, like, the, the bottom of the door is about above, like, just above your eye level. Okay. And she's, like, the next person who's going to start walking up the stairs. And there's a person on the stairs and a person outside the door in front of okay. her. I'm, like, with, I'm standing next to her right now. Okay. Just moving up with her. I'm... I'm not seeing my grandma around, by the way, right? I figure I, I wouldn't because she's huge. <laughs> so I feel like I would have seen her if she was like in standing in this line. Yeah, you're sure you'd have noticed her if she was anywhere among these people okay. out here. And there are like in this line, 30 people. And like in right. the rest of this cavern area, maybe a total, including the people in the line of like 80. Yeah, and and at least at first glance, I didn't see her. Right. Okay. I mean, you're, I'm assuming that you're scanning, looking around as best yeah, you yeah. can constantly. Yeah. All right. Well, sh should we head in then? Yes. All right. Well, I guess Tanya, Aaron. lead the way. Sort of red is, red is his crossbow, but keeps it sort of down by his side. So I think with hearts full of trepidation, pounding, you know, faster than you thought, thought was possible, you guys take steps up these stairs and peer into this broken ancient temple. And that's where we'll pick up next time. Next time. Oh my god! <laughs> Next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> that seems like a great place to call it. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I'm oh mad god. at you. I can't. Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, I'm mad. But I Good. had a feeling you were going to do it. It's the, it's the place to stop for today. Right? Mm -hmm. And we'll just yes, have to get back scary. on that schedule grind oh, and find out when goodness. episode four is going to be. Oh my god. Ah, <laughs> oh, the cliffhanger! I know. Guys, <laughs> I am so glad that you joined me. Everybody uh, in chat that I'm finally looking at because I cannot look at it while I'm running the game. <laughs> and uh, and all, all five of you, thank you for joining me on this evolving story i have no idea where it's going but it is uh consistently unexpected and super fucking fun so <laughs> going to bread going to bread everybody <laughs> going to bread. <laughs> bread. <Will> be bread <laughs> uh yeah, put one nice. in the swear jar for that sorry um yeah. <laughs> that yeah. take you up to like three now that takes me up to one three swear really? jars Really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I say shit a lot on this channel because you said it was okay. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, we'll we'll return with this team. Um, it would be fantastic to get one more round of um, explanations of who all of you wonderful people are. I've been local snack preferences, LSP by name, LSP by nature. Uh, <laughs> I'm a deep as art, a snack in summer. Art streamer, deep as a snack. <laughs> deep as a snack. Tasty as a snack in <laughs> your mouth. Oh, God. oh, oh no. goodness. Um, that counts as another one. Cool. I think. Yeah, that counts as another one. 100%. Wow. Nick. Nick. Um, yeah. Clip that. Clip it. Come swing by my channel. You know, I don't have a schedule, but I have some Pokemon cards from when I was a kid, and I'll give them away if you accumulate enough channel points. So, see you there. Uh, I guess I was Dragners. Uh, I'll be <laughs> You're time. next. Sure, I forgot to call. <laughs> yeah, I was like, <laughs> I was waiting. I was waiting. I'm just 
in my own head. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're in charge this time, LSP. How rare. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so um, much, Dragners. Please tell us about yes. your wonderful self. I love your channel. Everybody else Thank you. Too. I, I really appreciate that. I um, I really enjoy streaming. I, I stream on twitch.tv slash Dragners, uh, where I do a lot of stuff like puzzles and Zelda and make inappropriate jokes that aren't unlike what LSP just said, actually. Just <laughs> throwing that out there. And um, I also do a lot of science too, because I do a lot of psychology and neuroscience research, and that's becoming more of a thing. Um, and it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks so hey, much. Man. How about, uh, I, or, I know that the stream is not a scheduled thing right now, Taco Trash Can, but um, your stream is a lot of fun when and when it returns you, people will want to be following you i'm assuming so mm. they'll know when you're back yes um yeah so taco trash can is where you can find me i stream video games essentially if you want to watch somebody good at video games you should go elsewhere but if you want to watch somebody yell and be very funny about video games then yeah. you can come to me. Um, I do that, and I also have done some Zillow reviews on my channel as well. I where, love the Zillow reviews. <laughs> where uh, where I was cry laughing. So yeah, so yeah, come join me for Zillow reviews and all this other jazz. And as I've been having some time away, I've been planning some other fun things for us to do on stream. So it definitely will be a lot of fun if you join me. And then just uh, going around the circle on the screen here, uh, Astacon. Oh, hi. Tell Hello. us about your shenanigans. Of course. I, I, I am a purveyor of shenanigans. Space, dragons, uh, nuclear wastelands, cities, art, and music. And I also, you can find me and LSP uh, on here tomorrow for Empire, which is our uh, sci-fi Warhammer 40,000 alt universe um shenanigan fest <laughs> um yeah uh that's that's what i get up to generally on on my stream and this stream you can find me on twitch.tv forward slash astacon uh twitter astacon tm where i interact with people badly um you can also find my uh music on uh soundcloud on astacon as well um, I wrote the theme tune and some of the background music for the Empire show. None of this stuff, though, because I don't know how to write Synthwave. I'm learning, but I'm not good at it yet. Um, and yeah, well, I've got an Instagram as well. Where you can see some of my uh, art and screenshots and stuff. Yeah, that does remind me. The the music for our Empire, fantastic. All Astacons, check it out. The music for Daybreak City Nights, mostly due to the amazing uh, Thunder Porpoise music who graciously allowed us to use their dope uh, Synthwave soundtrack for mm -hmm. this show. Yeah, go Make check sure. out. We should, call, we should be calling that out all the time. Yeah, mm. go, go check out uh, TPM who was amazing enough to let us use their music um, because it's spectacular and they're spectacular. So go and drop them a follow um, and follow them on Spotify. And All facts. Yeah. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Astacon. Uh, Dinsdale, thank you so much for joining us. Could you tell us a little bit once again about your channel? Absolutely. Absolutely. I uh, do a lot of different games. Uh, we got platformers, we got adventure and action games, RPGs, story games. Um, and uh, we learned some Armenian as well uh, while we're there, all in a, a hopefully cozy environment. Um, the link's been listed many times, but uh, twitch.tv slash dinsdale. It was great to be here today. Yeah. I think I've encountered more games I never heard of through your channel, particularly some like really interesting like puzzle games and stuff like that and platformers mm -hmm. that I never would. like. I don't think I ever would have run into Dust Force, for instance. Uh, and and you game. give a lot of exposure to, to a lot of games that are smaller that I'm really glad about. So follow Dinsdale, please. And our other our other guest, Zara Zodiac, thanks for joining us. And you were all fantastic. Tell us a little bit about your channel too, please. Yes, I have been and still am Zara Zodiac. Um, I You can find me as Zara Zodiac on Twitch. I stream pretty much everything because I made the promise to play all the games I own 
ever on stream. So I'm going to be here for the next 15 years. So you have time. Uh -huh. um, and uh, right now I'm also playing Zelda. Like, just why, why wouldn't you? Um, and uh, I'm going to be starting Subnautica next week. So that's going to be sweaty. Um, and also I'm going to be streaming a, a, a hoarder stream where I'm going to clean up a really hoarding, like a full on hoard, hoarded room. It's going to be huh? great. <laughs> it's gonna cause me anxiety, but I'm gonna be there. Oh for yeah, it. it's gonna yeah, cause yeah. me anxiety. You, anxiety. you call it the steamathon, <laughs> right? Yes, because, I call it the steamathon. Because when you give a bad idea a name, a it makes name, it better. It makes it better. <laughs> Absolutely, cool. Uh, thanks for joining us. I don't know if there's anything <laughs> else to be said except tune in next time. Uh, you know, you need to find out what's in this temple. I mm. promise the payoff is going to be worth it. Um, <laughs> I need to find out too. We'll you know, follow down. Adventure Tavern on all the That's socials left. to know when episode four, once we figure out what it is, then you'll mm -hmm. be the next to know. Yep. And I you believe that us. we have. Oh, go ahead. No, I was going to say you can follow us here and on Twitter, Adventure Tavern. Mm -hmm. Um, I've been a bit slack with the Twitter updates on Adventure Tavern recently because I've gotten a new full time job and that's really Very tiring. Reasonable. <laughs> That's really tiring, so I've not been great with uh, keeping up with um, just random stuff, but we do make announcements for sure for when we're going live, and also for um, scheduling announcements and stuff. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Well, with oh. that, I yes. think that about wraps it up for us. We're going to raid our good mm -hmm. friend Amy Sometimes. Go be so friendly. Say hi. I think we've got a bread-related raid message. Oh, <laughs> do we? Yes. What, I don't know. I, I think uh, I that? think that uh, Panda had it. Oh, go on, Panda. Where's I mean, where's I'm, in, the bread I'm into related? anything. Bread yeah, raid. If, you, if you've yes. got that one, that works. <laughs> if you just want to do a bread like emoji, that's also hilarious. Like follow your heart. And <laughs> uh, yeah. What about just like, uh, one, one second? Yeah. Welcome to eat bread. Yes. <laughs> Copy one of, of several of those. Yeah. great messages. We, we've got lots of bread-related uh, puns there, so feel free. I wonder if I, I, as a mod, can start a raid. Um, I'm not sure. I think I have to do it because I'm doing the stream okay. stuff. <laughs> It'd be funny to try. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, thank you, thank you, everyone. Uh, we'll oh, be back so. online um, with Empire tomorrow at the same time, seven. Um, we're gonna go ahead and raid Amy. Thank you again, coming with and enjoy, uh, following us on this adventure. We'll see you soon. <laughs> <laughs>